good? Yeah. Yeah. I'm always good. I'm 100% good. Well, I know you are. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shipmates out there, Mr. O. Jesus has decided to grace us with his primal presence here. He has got his waiver, and we're looking for the trifecta here on the Across Your Bow podcast, episode number 27. Uh, with, like, as the aforementioned OGisms, you guys can hit him up at twitch.tv slash OGisms or over on his Twitter at, at OGisms. Of course, I'm uh, surfing on my case. It's good to see you guys. OJ, what's happening, buddy? Oh, you know, it's just another day, uh, another dollar. Um, and then uh, that's about it. <laughs> There's really nothing special going on yeah, right now. Well, I mean, we don't, we, we don't have any good rank going on. We just it's, finished uh, one. just a couple of rank sprints. Yeah. You know? Uh, well, let's just, there's not really too much news. One of the biggest news stories is going to be the topic of the day. So there's not much going on. So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that rank sprint, uh, season 12 is out and it's done. That was the, our rank season 12 is done, which was a tier 10 ranked. And then we had the two rank sprints, one that just finished and one that starts, I believe on the 11th, which is Thursday. Uh, a lot of fun. I let's talk about tier 10 ranked this season around this time around. How'd it go for you? <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> that's about how it went, man. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain that. I think, uh, oh god, if people saw my stream, they would have known. Uh, yeah. It was bad. It, it was, was bad. It was a pretty. It was a pretty bad. T- what? Uh, what was your final was total? Bad. What was your final total on the game? Two hundred forty-eight battles. Fifty-five point two percent win rate. Jesus Christ. Man, I ended up finishing in 305 battles, and I did f- my last game. I yeah, I became a dirty conch player. Uh, 46 games in a row with nothing but the conqueror, and we finally ranked out. But I had a, like a 63% win rate over those 46 games, and I I saved like half of the stars on the losses. Yeah, it, it sucks. I yeah, I was saving stars and saving stars and saving stars, and and then. I think it was. I think it was a Saturday. I I finally got so fed up. I was like, you know what? I I I fucking hate rank right now. Mm-hmm. It was the worst. And so I, I just got shit tanked all day. I started at like ten o'clock in the morning, get drunk. I think I ranked out at ten o'clock at night. Jeez, it's a long day. And uh, I still averaged twenty two hundred base XP, killing it. Just. Couldn't get the wins. We just couldn't get the wins. We had a, we had a lot of guys. Uh, it took it took one game to where I had a player that just refused to go into the caps. There's literally nobody at the AB cap on Sea of Fortune, and I'm like, "Will you please go get those two caps because we're going to need those points." And he's like, "I'm not going to get that cap. That Zhao's over there. That Zhao is running away from that cap, coming to try to fight me and a conqueror." And he comes rolling around the corner, and I hit one one back gun shot into him. I citadel him three times and delete him off the board with a con, and then fired a fired a shot from 15 kilometers at a Montana, and then citadeled him off the board too. I was like, that's how we went, and that was the start of the winning streak to to rank me up. Yeah, what made me start drinking was uh, I had a I had a game where it was. Me down to a DD and two battleship. I killed the DD, killed the battleship, and it was me and the other battleship left, but I couldn't reload fast enough. Hmm. And I was so mad because I had six kills. Oh man, you could have killed the whole team. I was I was ready to be done with it. Oh yeah, I was done. I was so mad. Jeez. If 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 one of my one of one of the people on my teams would have killed one of those Just guys. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just, do, I just kill one so guy. Sure. You know, uh, that, that's that's pretty funny because you see that a lot in randoms. I'm like, we'll sit there and we'll have our division. We'll just be murdering everybody. And we look up and we're, we're, we're dead. We, the game's over. Because you look up and the whole entire other side of the team hasn't done squat. And they've, they've just died. They've yellowed in. I mean, I think there, there's a big, giant yellow problem in the game at the moment. That everybody just um, runs straight in there. I've seen it with with cruisers, I think, um, battleships running straight in there. I think with the, the competitive moves, yeah, we, we see it a little bit more often, and I think it's because uh, the shitty players get carried up very fast. Yeah. Uh, but in random, you don't see that. Right. You don't see that as much because everybody's bow out and ready to fucking run. Yeah. As soon as as soon as it starts getting a little dicey, everybody's ready to run. 
I, I might be bow out, but uh, I'm still ready to back into it. Like, I, I'll back into some shit. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I'll be like right, right back, back into my poo that I just let out. I'll go. bring that poo right back in my butt. Let's go. He, does, you know? he doesn't. He doesn't mind being the little spoon in this shit. Back it ass up right yeah. into it, right? So, uh, yeah. so overall, uh, overall thoughts on on the tier ten rank season, man. I, I, I'm still just not a fan of tier ten rank, man. I think the cruisers, no, um, the cruisers are way there's not too a whole strong lot of balance for tier ten. It's not a whole lot of balance there. Uh, they included CDs, which they knew was a fucking terrible idea. They still tried to defend it. Um, I'm not sure why they tried to defend it. But I'm glad they removed it for the next clan battles, at least. Because, yeah. Jesus, dude, we were I, going to lose our shit. The tier... The tier ten CVs and and this is just for CVs in general, not just not strictly related to uh, to tier ten or ranked or anything like that. But the less players on the board, the stronger that CV is. There's less AA to kill the planes. There's less targets for him to go at, but he can focus more on one target instead of spreading out his plane. Yeah, and see, I I can I can understand their point of view. All right, so we want to take a competitive mode, which ranked is not supposed to be competitive. That's what they've already said. All right. Ranked's not supposed to be competitive. Why the fuck did they put a CV in there? Why not just actually do it in clan battles? Yeah, you know what? The top tier clans are going to bitch. A little bit. But at the end of the day, you're going to get a lot more balance out of it because the best of the best are playing that. And then you got the worst of the worst trying to think, grind their way to the top, right? So I, I think that- in a competitive mode like that, in a team play, right. I can understand putting carriers in it. But in ranked was the dumbest fucking decision Wargaming yeah. has made. Well, they, that was they've, really dumb. I don't know about the dumbest. There's there's another one we'll talk about here that's uh, that's 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 on my oh, list yeah. of. No, uh, they they made a lot of bad decisions. On my list of low things, uh, and not not as smart things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw them under the bus, but uh, but yeah, they, they've they've made a lot of interesting interesting choices here, and I think CVs is a, CVs into rank season was a mistake. Uh, they still have too much control over the game. Uh, and, and you know what, Nana? It's funny because half the time they were useless. A majority of the CVs that I got were useless. And then the other half of the time they were so dominant you couldn't do anything. Yeah, my CVs were always useless. The other CV happened to be fucking super unicum every single time. Yeah. Every That's what it seems. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Yeah. It was absolutely disgusting. Overall, overall impressions of this rank season? Just trash. Uh, you didn't like it? Uh, any, any other reasons like besides it. CVs? Uh, there's some, there's a big there's a big thing we haven't talked about rentals rental boats. I think I think fucking the- rental shimmer. <laughs> rental yeah, shimmer. no. Um, mm, I don't, fuck rentals, man. That was so dumb too. I can't believe they even. I can't believe they put it in there. I think, Look, you want you want lesser players like the players that haven't gotten a tier ten play yet. Why didn't we just fucking do tier seven ranked? Yeah. Why didn't we do a full tier seven season? Here, here's here's yeah. here's the problem that I have with 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 rentals. I mean, like I'm not going to knock those players for doing it because Wargaming gives them that option. Fine, uh, it's it's rent it's Wargaming's fault for putting them in there, right. not for the people that but are. At least playing. let them have fucking camo, <laughs> at the very least. Right. Uh, my my biggest deal is is I busted my ass to get to tier ten. You busted your ass to get to tier ten. I busted my ass to to earn the flint and earn the black. They're basically doing free shit to give these people another opportunity to get the steel. Right. Instead of them busting their ass, they're basically giving this steel to them for free, even though they still have to kind of fucking work at it to try to get it, quote unquote work, to try to get it. It's like it's like it's a smack in the face to all the people who grinded out the tier tens and have the actual boats to play. That's what I'm saying. Look, 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 look. If you look at, uh, we can go a little bit below. We can go. A little bit below the median average for what everybody has, which is tier seven. Mm. Everybody has tier seven. Pretty much, yeah. Except for like pretty quick to get to, player. pretty easy to get to. It's it's yeah. kind of cheap. Uh, I just need to get to. Why not just do tier seven fucking ranked? Yeah, or tier eight. I mean, like, there's there's a couple ah. of balanced tiers. I think in this game, six and eight are probably the most balanced tiers. Nine isn't bad either. I'll be honest, man. The sprint rank showed the balance there. Um, you can play what you wanted to play and get it done. Yeah. Well, let's, I mean, not let's, as quick. Let's, some boats. Let's jump into the rank sprints. 
Let's jump into the first. The first rank sprint is is almost over, guys. You got about two days left. I think it ends. Uh, do you have today and tomorrow? Uh, no, it, it ends it, tomorrow. It, it ends tomorrow. So, uh, so you guys got less than a day left, I guess, at this point to uh, to get ranked sprint tier seven out of the way and its domination. The next rank sprint comes up and it's epicenter. That's going to piss a lot of people off because people don't like epicenter. Oh. I love Dude. Epicenter because it's another objective to play, and I'm an objective-based mind. You know, that's that's the way that I like to play. Uh, so I am uh, – so you only have nine hours left at this point. But by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be over. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Epicenter is going to piss people off because it's going to force them out of their comfort zone. Their comfort zone right. is to sit back, launch, spam, all this other bullshit – and and never push into the circles. The DDs are going to be very heavy on this, and I think this is this is this is the season, or this this part of the rank sprint is where the DDs are going to struggle probably the most with with a Belfast or with with an Indianapolis out there. Just just doing absolutely nothing but spotting that cap. It's going to be very hard for the DDs to to perform. Uh, not an epicenter. I think an epicenter, you're going to see a lot better DD play. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it's going to be epicenter the entire way, it I'm going to take a DD. I'm taking Because I'm just going to go in there I'm, and I'm, I'm going uh, to shit on players. Going Z39. That's probably what I'm going to end up choosing first. If I start to struggle in the Z39, then I'll probably shift back to uh, the, the Nelson or something just so I can get some shots down the range. I was thinking about Z thirty nine or uh, what's that tier eight British? Isn't that the uh, the the Jervis is the tier seven? The Jervis, yeah, that's a really good boat. So I might take that as well. Yeah, yeah it, guns are super strong on it. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised. Yeah, they're really good. I was surprised. I, I don't know. Um, I don't think I would take a battleship this time. Uh, just don't see it happening. Well, I took a battleship on the last rank sprint, but I don't think I would take it on this one. I think I think battleships were were probably ideal for the last one man that sign off was just broken good uh i, I did i watched a, i watched a lot of people just over pin the hell out of things from i found a way to close. break the sign up all right spit it out uh no i took um a lot of people saw it i took a nice now and i just i i bull rushed them i bull rushed everything chances are the, the sign i was going to anyway was the weak side uh, which meant I'm going to be up in your face anyway. Yeah. So that's what we did. And it was always me and one other person that knew what the fuck was going on. The rest of the team went off to the other, the other camp, did what the fuck they wanted to do. We went in. Son up was always in front of me. Yeah. You bull rush him. He can't fucking pin you bow very well. Right. Maybe doing 6K max, right, to your superstructure and stuff. That's fine. Let him do it. Yeah. Because I'm going to come up and I'm just going to twerk him. Yeah. Get rid of him. Do what you can right while, you're, while you're on your way. Yeah. I, I think I think the German uh, the German line uh, the the Scharnhorst and uh, and the Nisenau were uh, they were strong except the Scharnhorst guns are still shit. I'm sorry, they're just they're just trash. I know oh, I, I like I like the trash. reload on it, but I mean it's just it's just <laughs> Nisenau's guns were trash. Uh, they're trash too. Uh, <laughs> Full broadside cruises. I couldn't fucking I couldn't pin them. Well, I ranked no. out twice, one in the Nelson and one in the Colorado, of all things, on my sub account, right? And actually, I've noticed Colorado is nasty. I noticed something about about the Colorado that uh, it it'll bow pin that fucking side up, and so will the Nelson. Them sixteen inch guns on both of those boats absolutely trashed yes. the the bow of that sign up. Now. With the Nelson, you really it, with the Nelson, there was nothing that you could do. You were just taking damage from the sign up. But the Colorado had a little bit of a tank value uh, that the that the Nelson didn't. And I was able you hold to a slight really angle with that turtle guys. armor. Yeah, yeah. You hold a slight angle with that turtle armor. You're golden. Yep. And the Colorado, believe it or not, for the tier, is the best. Other than the slowness, it's it's for really good, man. I like the Colorado rank, it was the, the sign best. Up, man. And I was really surprised at it, too. I was really surprised because I haven't played the Colorado in fuck ages. You know, nobody oh, wants to it's play so that. accurate. Yeah. It's so accurate right now. I was, uh, I was pretty impressed with its accuracy, and I'm not a big fan of the double, the, the, the two gun turrets. I, they just, there's just too much margin for error. And I, and you guys all know my RNG when it comes to this. If you guys have ever seen the show, uh, my RNG sucks balls. It mm. really sucks balls. And, I just thought uh, I just thought everything else just wasn't good enough. I mean, like 
the the Nagato is just too inaccurate. The Ashitaka is too weak. It takes too much damage, and it's just not as accurate as you wanted it to be. Uh, the Sharon Horse was just the it was tanky, but the guns didn't do dick. Uh, but the lion, there's, yeah, I just proved we we proved the point here that the lion is a terrible fucking boat. <laughs> It's absolute garbage. If you want to do any damage to somebody and they're bowing to you, good luck. You have to be slinging it's, HE it's, into their superstructure. It's not the lion. Yeah. Honestly, I, th I think there's there's an argument to be made. So, like, you took out a few different ships. I took Nas now. Yeah. Uh, Dort took the Nagato mm -hmm. and Sano. Uh, anything could be good in the right hands. It's just a matter of how it's played. But at the same time, there's some ships... Yeah. There's some really bad shit. Like the lion. You know, bad. there's a lot of there's a lot of things to be said. Like when you when you sit there and play the lion, because I ended up ranking out on my Colorado with a guy when well, my man DWO, he was playing the lion and he played nothing but the lion the whole time. And I'm like, that's all well and good, but I was looking at some of the damage that that last game, I had one game or two games with DWO, and we really weren't together the first game, the second game we rolled down together, right? It shit mm. all over cruisers. It did very well against cruisers, but any kind of battleship action, it just didn't take damage, or it took too much damage, and it really didn't do anything in return unless you were slinging any HE, because 13 and a half inch guns versus all that armor. Right. So. Yeah. So no, what that's, can you do? Uh... I mean, it's 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 not a it's not a bad boat, but it's definitely not designed for a push. It is a mid-range brawler that, or mid-range fighter. That's it. That's the only thing. I think it's. Good. I think it's a bad boat. Yeah. I think it's a bad boat. Yeah, it's, I'm not uh, um, a big fan of it. Because when I got the Leon like uh, up close and personal, yeah, he do a bit of damage to me, but it's all HE damage anyway because they're running HE. And what happened? Yeah. I torqued him, and he dies right away. Yeah. It only took one set, so I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't even have to worry about shooting him. Yeah. I could worry about shooting everybody else. And an arsenal. Yeah, that's that's incredible. Surprisingly enough, I mean, uh, I, I I still have I still have the the standing bounty because I, I I'm not a big fan of the nines now, but uh, three hundred dollars and I'll rank out with a, a zero point captain. <laughs> that's right. That's that's the standing order for three hundred dollars. I did I, I and I made it three hundred dollars because I don't want anybody to fucking do it. I did not have a fully spec captain for yeah. that. I did not, and I ranked out with it. I think I started with nine. I ended with fifteen. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think the Leon is lacking in a, in a lot of things, and gun caliber size is the biggest the mm. biggest problem. I had I had a lion shoot on me straight up bow in Colorado and just just dink just nothing. It was like maybe four or five thousand damage. I'm like, <laughs> watch this, and then you hit the lion in the bow, and you're doing ten grand to him. It just doesn't tank. It's not. It's just not a very good boat. It is a. It's gimmick. not meant to tank. It's meant to snipe. Yeah, it it's is. Meant to snipe. It is a gimmick. It is a one one dimensional boat, and one dimensional one dimensionality of boats really don't do well unless you're pushers. And this is where this is where the the Nizenau actually excelled. And I I can't right. believe I'm giving any touting or, or giving any bonuses to the Nizenau here. But it is it is. It is just not a very strong boat versus the Nisenau, which is a very good boat when you're on the push. If you're sitting back, the Nisenau is not that great. Yeah, because Nisenau can no Nisenau cannot sit back. You've you've got to be a little bit aggressive. Uh, you can even get hyper aggressive in it and get some shit done. Uh, Leon, you you can't be aggressive in Leon. Yeah, you, you just can't do it. Now the Leon, it might you... be a good boat, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> If uh, if you, you guys can't, if you, you guys want to play the Leon very well, you guys have to sit. You guys have to sit about ten, anywhere between twelve to fifteen kilometers. That's its ideal, ideal. Any closer than that, then you're, you're really not doing much versus battleships. And I don't care no. what anybody says. Oh, I played this this way. I played it fine. Go fucking play it. I don't give a shit. I'm just Dude, telling you yeah, in they're, general, they're the, gonna, boat is, the boat is just not as good as any of the other boats out there. And I think they're that gonna talk that shit. Yeah, and that's I mean, fine. It's one of those things. I mean, it happens. I mean, you go, let's go fucking play it. I don't care. You guys can enjoy your fucking boats. I'm just right. Yeah, enjoy the opinion. ship that you're playing in. Yeah. What, what have I always been saying when we've been doing ranked or something like that? Right? Is uh, what are what do you feel comfortable in? You feel comfortable in that? All right. Well, great. Yeah. Then what the fuck does my opinion matter? That is. That I'm is... just trying to tell you exactly how I feel about it yeah. and how I felt in it. And then how I feel against it. Yeah. 
I'm not scared of that thing. I don't, I don't not yeah. the only time that I'm ever worried is if I'm like in a Nelson and I'm like, oh, I didn't see this guy. I wasn't paying attention to the map. Okay, now I'm taking a bunch of damage. Other than that, I'm really not afraid of the lion. I think the lion is lion is kind of bottom of the barrel for tier seven battleships. Of course, we're going into a tier seven tier seven pool of battleships that aren't really the best yep. at all. I mean, they're they're kind of meh. I think there's one maybe three boats in that entire line that's actually I think is worth a shit. The rest of them are just kind of eh, whatever. Uh, just play through them, get out of them, sell them because you're, I'm never going to go back and play them unless somebody says, "Hey, go." Play There's this. definitely a few that are, you know, the ships where anybody can pick up and do well in it. Yeah, but here's the best part. Uh, here's the best Leon's part about this it. whole thing is that uh, you guys are entitled to your fucking opinion. These are our opinions. If you don't like it and you want to leave yeah. the channel, fine. I don't give a shit. Go, go, get out of here. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion. All right, uh, moving on to. Oh, I need my nipple flaps. Nope. I got to pull my nipple flaps down. Mm. And, and... I'm sorry. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, either way, guys, uh, we're hanging out here with uh, my man, Ojeezums, man. My man, Ojeezums. You guys can hit him up at twitch.tv slash OJ. Uh, Ojeezums there. And then over on the Twitter, you can hit him up at Ojeezums. Of course, I am Sir Venom IK. You guys can hit me up right there at Sir underscore Venom underscore IK. Or if you guys are over on the YouTube, you guys come over here and hang out, chit chat, bullshit, whatever you guys want to talk about over at twitch.tv slash Sir Venom IK. Guys, we are going to do a question and answering portion uh, a little bit later on in, in the section of this uh, beautiful stream. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in, uh, post them in at Sir Venom IK at one of the mods at OGSMs or something like that, and I will copy paste those and we'll get to those a little bit later on. All right, moving out of ranked, moving out of ranked. Uh, final thoughts on the ranked, uh, the any, any tier ten or tier seven rank sprint, anything that you guys want to that you want to bring up before we move on? All right, we got it. Fuck rank. Fuck rank. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rental shimmers. Right. Goddamn fucking rental shimmer. <laughs> Overall, I think uh, I think uh, the ranked the ranked tier seven sprint wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be because I remember the last tier seven ranked and it was atrocious. It was the one of the worst worst rank season that I've ever experienced. It took me five hundred games to rank out, and mm. all because Belfast, Belfast, and just shitty shitty battleships that really couldn't do a fucking thing. And it was it was yeah, very yeah, it, it was, was very hard and it was very hard to do the first tier seven rank season because none of the battleships were worth the shit back then. Even this last one was fucking hard against Belfast. Yeah. What well, proper Belfast? Yeah. Well, it's um, I think I think that this I think that this season struggled for cruisers because there was a a lot of games where there was no destroyers at all whatsoever and it was like two cruisers. I remember the last game that I ranked out in on the Colorado, it was two cruisers and four battleships. That was it. And so yeah. me and my boy, we go down to A, on, or we go down to B on Repost, and we just blast the the very first shot of the game. Homie is in his line, and he he one shots a Helena. Then my second shot of the game, I one shot the Miyoko, and then it was just resetting the cap on the four battleships that were just sitting there, doing absolutely nothing. And that was it. That's all we had to do. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about uh, uh, sounds about fucking right. Yeah, that's it. So that's basically that's basically everything that happened in that game, and that that sums up the entire tier seven ranked experience this time around. For, for that's domination. what I'm afraid of, like uh, for like a regular rank season, having it a low tier, because I, I want others to be able to participate without fucking rentals. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Is like they're gonna do whatever they can to save their star rather than trying to play the game. Yeah. And trying to win this game for the team. Yeah. Well, I uh, think I mean uh, shit. I came down. I, I there was multiple games where I came down and 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 pulled some shit through my ass where I shouldn't have been able. To. Yeah. I just think that uh, overall, I think that tier seven is just a shit tier for ranked. It's not a very competitive tier. Not a very competitive tier at all. There's not I enough think. ships that uh, are actually competitive. No. No, they're all good. Like any cruiser that you want to take is beautiful. They're all good. Just to, and and it all depends on who is playing what. Obviously. Uh, I think that uh, I think that overall, the destroyers struggle so much in tier seven because the cruisers are so goddamn strong. There's there's a there's yeah. a there's a fundamental power drain or power vacuum that the the cruisers just suck up all the power and the battleships aren't good enough to com compete with them. The destroyers see, the because the battleships aren't good enough to compete with the cruisers. The the DDs struggled, uh, but if you had a really fast game, the cruisers were sucking ass. If you were if you were a really really fast paced game, the cruisers didn't have enough time to do their damage. And but if you had a slow paced game, the cruisers were the cruisers were very strong this season. 
Yeah. If, if, if there was a tier I'd like to see for regular rank, for like rank, like, we just saw rank tier 10, right? Yeah. But no carriers. Yeah. I still think they need to keep carriers out of it. It's just not enough players. I would like to see tier six. This. I'd like to see sorry. tier six. I'd like to see tier eight. Tier eight's my favorite tier. I think everything. Not even sorry though. Everything at tier six is good. Everything at tier eight is good. Uh, and viable. I think uh, I think tier eight's kind of fucked because uh, there's a huge difference in ships there, uh, and and the power creep between eight and ten has made it worse from what people mostly play. So that mm. shit's getting buffed for the tier ten meta. Right. Not what it should be playing against at tier eight. That's why I don't, I don't honestly don't think tier eight should be seeing tier nine or 10 period, but whatever. yeah, well, I don't That's, mind. I don't mind them seeing tier nine, but it's starting cool. it's starting to get to the point where tier 10 is going to be a little bit broken, uh, which leads us into our very first topic here of the day, boys, the Naval training center. <clears throat> now this has been, if you guys have been keeping up with any of the news over the last couple of weeks or the last week and a half, uh, it initially, now they've made a change. I'm going to go through the initial release of this thing, and I can see OJ's not too happy with this, but the, uh, the initial release was you were going to be able to reset your, reset your boats, reset the entire line of boats that you had, and then you could re-grind through them, and at the end of that, you were going to be able to receive buffs to your ship, minuscule buffs to the ship. Now, the original numbers that they had put out were like 10% to fucking health and, you know, 5% to dispersion or some some nonsense like that. And the entire community went into fucking uproars, man. Uproars. I know I was pretty pissed Absolute off about it. meltdown. Yeah. Dude, I have not seen a meltdown like this since, I think, since the Julius Caesar, they were trying to change that from tier five to six. Julius Caesar or when they first introduced carriers. Those are the only other two times I can think Holy where there was shit. a full fucking meltdown. Dude, it was like 100% of the people or 90, I say 90% of the people that I was talking to were like negative versus this thing. Mine was like closer to 100%, yeah. if not 100%. But I don't I give, think I saw I give it one 10% person to because... stick up for it. That uh, wasn't a uh, CC. <laughs> I wasn't sticking up for it. I was not you. I'm not saying not... you. I'm not saying you. There was another CC that was just sticking up for it, and yeah. I was like, "Nah, dude, yeah. come on." No, thank you. Uh, I, like, think, you know, I think I think that here's, right the, here's the reason. Here's the reason why I was so <laughs> negative against it. Right? Here's the reason why I was so negative against it. OJ, you have a little bit of time to sit here and play. I have a little bit of time to sit here and play. Maybe somebody yeah. out there in the chat, you know, Bad Nova, the King, or or Ruth, Ruth, Ruth Oven uh, out there, maybe they don't have as much time to sit there and play because I could literally play anywhere from 1 to 24 hours at any point in time just like that. I cannot play like that. Well, I wish I could. Man, you get I got point. a full-time you, job still. Yeah, exactly. so, so even for me, trying to go from Tier 1 right now to Tier 10, it's going to take me some time. It's going to take uh, time. But what about, like, people in the military and yeah. people that work on the road like truckers yeah. that – actually fucking make your economy go yeah no i don't care what the fuck country you're in well, here's the deal you know, these so, people are on the road all the time so because i have the ability to play maybe i'm not maybe i'm not a better player than ochisms is he's the best battleship player in the world in the world and i'm just an average guy i'm gonna have an advantage over you now because i'm gonna have extra hit points i'm gonna have extra dispersion Oh yeah, you're you know, gonna, you're I'm, gonna just destroy me because I am able to actually put forth the time and effort to play. So I felt that this was an unfair advantage for myself, and this is this is totally yeah shit. I'm gonna benefit from this because I'm gonna be able to actually play it and do it and reset it, guys. Hey guys, for a hundred bucks, I'll reset the German battleship line and play through it without bitching about it the whole time. You know, hey, I mean, yeah. there's so much content that could have been had originally, but. I disagreed with I disagreed with buffing the ships, and I made a video about it, and then they changed it. An hour after I put that video out on YouTube, they changed <laughs> yeah, it. I remember you and I talking about it. I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" Now I got to go back and 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 redo this. So my biggest my biggest deal was no buffs on the ships. Reward it some other way. Give it a camo that nobody can fucking buy, but they have to fucking earn. I'm so tired of getting these rewards and busting my ass for a reward just to have them unlock it a week and a half later 
so everybody can get it and they didn't have to bust their ass and they didn't have to go through the turmoil, which means my reward mm -hmm. system, my black means more to me than your black will ever mean to you because I busted my ass for five rank seasons to earn that black. So do you know what you know what's pissing me off about this right now? What's that? The only thing they're doing, it, it, it occurred to me sh shortly after we talked, and I think I might have actually talked to you about this. Yeah. Is um uh, they're adding a new resource that you have to earn. Yep. Re earn the resource. Now it's a new too. resource you have to earn. Yeah. You get these new ships, mm -hmm. like the Ohio, uh -huh. which they confirmed the Ohio, Ohio you have to get with it. The Ohio and the Colbert. So both not with, uh, both Colt, both confirmed. Not with steel. Uh but with a new no. fucking resource. With a new resource. So now we have a what a fifth fucking resource now? Well we've got clan tokens. We've got rank tokens. We have steel. We have uh, coal. So that's four. Yeah, that'll be so, five. Does anybody else see what I'm seeing? It's uh, they're scared about regulation against their crates. So they want to sell as many as possible to these kids that'll max out their parents' credit cards and get as much money as possible and be done with it. Wow. They want to fucking load up on that money real fast. Just like EA is doing with FIFA, FIFA Battlefield. I don't know, man. Bad. A lot of a lot of people are saying they're it's trying bad. out EA, EA, but I don't. I don't know. Uh, if they they're gonna sell these things, that's I, as long as you that's cannot... what it is, dude. They're they're, they're they're saying there's containers that are gonna help you along. Mm. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. I, honestly, dude, I like the containers, but I don't like the premium buy containers. I'm not buying them. I'm not buying them. Being a CC, they give us like 15 of them every time they every time the new a new thing comes out. You know, I will I'm, tell I'm you right now. I'm interested in some of these. Uh, interested to see how they reward the, reward this naval training center because if they reward it with camos, then fine, I'm all for it. Anything that I can do, and I know you're kind of in the same boat here. Anything that I can do to separate myself visually from the from everybody else. Then I know right. I've done my job. Uh, I want a camo Look, if, that I can only get through this thing. I don't want people to be able to buy this because then it makes my achievement of actually resetting this and going through three or four times or seven times or however many it is to get it, it makes it useless. It makes it worthless. And it, and it yeah, takes look, all of the fucking meaning away from it. If it's just cosmetics, right? Like League of Legends cosmetic. Yep. Skins. Skins. I'm cool with that. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Give them a fucking buff to their credits. Give them uh, some doubloons for it. Fuck it. Uh, give them extra uh, container drops for it. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Right? You're not giving anything extra to the player base that wants to play regularly. Hmm. I would I would be happy with that. Yeah. But no, they want to add more containers so that you can get this extra premium fucking... Uh, this resource. Uh, currency yeah yeah so uh, i'm not I'm that's not, all they want to do they want to they, that's kinda, well, these companies are freaking the fuck out and they want to get as many fucking containers sold right now with this shittiest fucking uh win rate that you can get out of a container yeah as possible before it gets legislated because it's going through our congress right now is it i didn't know that but i mean that wouldn't surprise me at all i mean it doesn't surprise me at all get out get out of it what you can before you can't do it anymore and that's typically business in general not just this company but a lot of companies uh yeah well for profit man you gotta yep. gotta get yep. as much money as possible and that's you gotta get those, every last uh, dollar that's the, that's the thing that you have to understand that's the thing that people have to understand that with a with a free freemium game i guess if you want to call it that uh, they got to make their money somewhere, and uh, they're making a shitload of money. They're making a yeah, buttload they, of they money. They could be making stuff. their money with premium. All right. So moving moving back into the Naval Training Center here, uh, there's one concern. There, uh, well, basically, what happened is they 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 said that they were going to do this, and then they said, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna adjust the adjust the buffs down to it." And I said, "Any buff is too much. I don't care if it's one percent on the health. It's still an advantage. It's a perceived advantage, whether it is or not." And then we had to look at these uh, legendary modules. Those are pretty much minor buffs, but they still separate tier ten even further from tier eight. Uh, which I still find a little bit unfair for the tier eight guys. I'm I was completely I would, against the uh, against the legendary the legendary mods when they came out. 
I'm still pretty much against them. There's only a few of them that are actually I think are worth a shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's kind of a it's kind Since of Since they're out. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a well, there's nothing I can do, so let's well, we might as well use it. Um but what's to stop them from doing this and then giving out more modules? What's oh, they're to stop not. them from No, they're going to continue stop going because this? nobody nobody freaked out about the premium uh the uh Legendary module. Nobody freaked out about it. See, here's the, here's the, here's As they should've. here's the here's the here's the rub though. Here's the rub. Here's my biggest fear for them doing naval training center, regardless of everything. Because I tell you what, right now I don't mind resetting because that's more content for me that I can I can produce here on the Twitch channel, uh, twitchtv server in my case. More 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 that you can produce on your channel, twitch.tv slash ogisms. You guys can go and, and you guys can watch these people struggle. Hey, maybe maybe I forgot how to play this boat, or maybe you guys want to see a new boat. Let's just reset the whole fucking line. Now let's let's play this. Now there's, there's a lot of fucking YouTube potential. There's a lot of uh, Twitch potential here. This is good things for, for content creators like myself and like yourself. The only downside I agree. is as is long where, as it's not going to give us an advantage yeah. over other players. Absolutely. So what's to stop the what's to stop them that. from using a new module that you have to have this new resource for? Then it then it's really, the that's, exactly that's the same saying. thing yeah. as having a buff. So if if I started a brand new account today, uh, I guarantee you I'm going to stay right around seventy five percent win rate, dude. It's it's going to be fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I'm interested in that as well. I'm interested in that and how the stats are going to do. If I reset this, does it reset all my stats? Uh, if you guys do happen it's to not reset, reset your stats, stuff. but I think you reset into the line, and I guess you're going to add on to it. Just a little mechanics of how this works. Any experience that you would have, say you're on the you're playing the American battleships and you have two million experience on your North Carolina, all of that experience from that battleship line will will rotate down to the tier one of that line. So your Erie would have like a 10 million plus experience on it that you could still free xp uh you know doubloon conversion rate off of that <laughs> yeah. thing yeah that's yeah that yeah. makes some more money yeah, yeah. it makes some more money uh so that so that's what they're looking at and now they've also said oj that you're going to be able to use your free xp to help you grind back through that line as well which causes more people to spend more money to just to get these things so you're it's kind of a never-ending rotation of let's just get into that wallet and dip in as much as we possibly can yeah and i, I think like i said uh with all the legislation going through with these freemium games and uh containers going through going through congress and everything um they're trying to milk it out as much as possible yeah. right now and it sucks it sucks to see this going this way but uh just, I mean, what the fuck do you expect from somebody from a company that thinks it's uh, better to sell a ship for one hundred and forty four dollars than to sell it for I don't know ten ninety nine and earn more money that way? They, you know, they're they're just not seeing they're not seeing the goal. They don't care. They're seeing it, but it's all in their spreadsheets, right? There you go. Yeah, it's spreadsheets that uh, uh, don't ex actually exist in real life. That's the problem with spreadsheets is. Uh, well, your stats may show one thing, but uh, real life is going to show a whole different exactly. thing. Exactly. Well, that's what this Morgan is feeling. You know, I got a perfect really? example for that statement there, OJ. The Wu Wang. The Yu Yang nerf <laughs> to its reload. Uh, now, now I'm going to take you into this. This is this is kind of a kind of an in depth in depth thing here. So so bear with me and go with me here. Yeah, that's this, my ship. This, so on this yeah. little fucking journey here, the Yu Yang was performing well over what the gearing standards were. All right. So since since the Yu Yang and the Gearing are supposed to be pretty similar ships, they nerfed the Yu Yang to to perform somewhat similar to what the Gearing does. Fair enough. That I understand it. Uh, then they released the Harry Gumbo, the Harry Gumbo line, and yeah. the uh, the the Daring line came out. And now you're having to compete at a with a Gearing level of a Yu Yang that absolutely gets smashed by a Harry Gumbo and a daring now you're taking this down so that that stat based only nerf did more to hurt that ship than anything else that they possibly could have done and it was I, it was I, a it was a strictly spreadsheet mm -hmm. nerf that had absolutely no bearing in reality in reality that boat struggled and even before no. the buff it would have struggled against the hairy gumbo and it would I have struggled them. against the daring I told them how to fix the Yu Yang because I played the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. Anybody that has ever watched me knows I played the shit out of it. Fix it. I loved that boat Let because me... it was super strong. Tell me but how to fix I it. I knew how to fix it. How? 
concealment need to be nerfed a little bit yeah tiny bit hair was and it, then was it the radar need to be brought back a whole kilometer i think the six six that's and a half. it that's all you had to do that's it that's all you had to do the guns were just as good as the gearing but they were better than the gearing no they were not better. They, the numbers on average damage on that thing said that that the guns were a little bit better now because you yank players any... wanted to fire more than gearing players that Probably. doesn't fucking matter like that's it's another fucking see, spreadsheet stat see, that's what i'm saying uh, spreadsheets spreadsheets out there can be manipulated to say whatever you want them to say exactly so, so time to i'm sorry that you yang players felt more comfortable to shoot in those situations but the armor was the same the guns were the same everything was the fucking same except for uh Detection. concealment and then radar. your radar had a huge advantage. Yeah. That radar was massive. It had to be brought seconds. back a kilometer to begin with, and then maybe another 0. 0.3 after that. But start with a kilometer on that radar and go from there. Yeah. But honestly, that's how you that's how you nerf the YY. Yeah. You don't nerf the fucking YY by taking out Reload. its entire bite. You yeah. can't you can't fucking do it. I, uh, I was looking at the looking at the numbers for this past uh, this past rank season, and like I think there was one percent were playing carriers, and like one percent were playing the Wu Wang, and the Shimakaze had the most games played, like over a million games this season. Yep, over a million games this season. I played a shit out of Yu Yang for the clan battles. Uh, well, anyway, I think that I think that the the Yu Yang nerf is a, win rate. is a perfect example about a, a nerf gone wrong. And instead, what they should have done was lowered the gearing in the water like they were supposed to, like they should have done instead of nerfing the battleship AP, lower the gearing in the water. It wouldn't have taken that much damage. And then you probably would have brought it up to you Yang standards just by that one deal or buff the reload on the gearing to bring it up to the Yu Yang standards instead of bringing the Yu Yang down. And now you have this big opening here where what's the best bat? What's the best EDs at tier 10? daring see i i don't i don't Heavy agree with up. that i don't agree with that at all because all right. the gearing in itself is still today used and powerful yeah it's definitely much more powerful than yu yang right obviously it definitely got more utility that's why it, it had to go with the yu yang it had to go concealment had to go radar hmm. that's what made it powerful that's what gave it all the bite to begin right. with but then they took out the guns the armor the radar they gave everything they took everything yeah so it's just another it's just another boat, and now and I think right. uh, I think the Yu Yang was at a disadvantage during rank seasons and everything because they just cannot hit those hit those torps on other DDs, which 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 yeah. automatically puts it down probably halfway on, on the list of good good boats for ranked anymore. Uh, <laughs> and then and then you sit there and listen look at look at what they did with the Chung Mu. Now they're lowering the Chung Mu because the Chung Mu is actually performing better than the Yu Yang. This is a, this is another this is another. I don't understand this nerf. A bad move. Yeah. It's a bad move. Instead of bringing um, the Yu Yang back to what it was, what are they going to do? They're going to they're going to hurt the next boat in the line. It's the same thing with the Yu Yang for the for the Chung Mu. Yeah. It was. It's all about the concealment. The concealment is what the Fletcher. Uh, it's basically a Fletcher. Would hurt it a little. Yeah. Five point eight kilometer it's, detection. Dude. Yeah. All yeah. right. They're looking at spreadsheets, and it's it's just dumb. So how did how I does gotta take it... a piss? You want to take a quick break? Uh yeah go 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 ahead man. Right. Take all of like a minute. Yeah go for it. Right back. All right guys we're hanging out with my man uh, O Jesus man he's uh, gone to take a break here O Jesus at O Jesus on the Twitters and over at twitch.tv slash OJ here on uh, twitch.tv slash Sir Venom IK and you guys can hit me up on the, the Twitter at Sir underscore Venom underscore IK. Uh, all right. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns while he's uh, off into the bathroom, you guys go ahead and link them in there into the chat. And I will copy pasta those away. Um, I think, uh, I think this, uh, the podcast is going pretty good. There's really not too much and we're going to continue on with, uh, continue on with the Naval Training Center and our thoughts on that uh, moving forward uh, for the re for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the cast here, and then we will do a ship spotlight from OJ, one of his boats that he would like to spotlight, and then uh, we will get into the Q and A session from you guys. Just want to thank each and every one of y'all for coming out today so far, and I'm running out of things to talk about while he's gone. So hey, hey everybody, how's it going? You guys doing all right? Good. That's nice to hear.
It's, I'm sorry, guys. It's really hot in my house. Really hot in my house right now, man. NTC, just a bad idea unless we get a unique non-buff items. Well, we're, they're, they're talking about it. There, there's a... Uh, there's a uh, there's a there's a thing that I want to read. I was going to read, but I can't really read it because it's on Discord. Actually, you know what? I could probably bring it up over here. I forget I have two computers that I can bring it up on. Whew. It's been a pretty good day, guys. It's been a pretty good day so far. What are you guys thinking of the podcast? Uh, we're we're hot and heavy, and if you guys are uh, upset that we're ignoring the chat, just just know. Uh, just know that I will, uh, I will get to your guys' comments and questions as we, as we, as we roll forward, sir, as we roll forward. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to read this, uh, we're going to read this thing for the podcast here so you guys can, uh, understand what we got going on. Uh, any of this information is not is uh there's no nda on this so i'm able to say this stuff if there's anything that's nda and uh, if you guys want to ask about the future since i am a community contributor i do have access to some things but if it's nda i'm just going to be like nope sorry can't answer that question <clears throat> but uh, go ahead and go ahead and fill out uh go ahead and feed those questions in man and we will get to we will get to those uh uh, yeah, just add to King, oh, add Sir Venom, and then uh, the King will uh, uh, copy pasta those questions to me. All right, these six are so good. All right, OJ, check this out. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read a couple of things about this NTC that's uh, that has been announced from uh, from Earl Gray, who is our community contributor handler guy. I say I say handler because you know he's over there in Russia. It's our KGB spy handler. Or he's, anyway, he's he's part of that Putin lover lo uh, boy list. So I like that guy, man. I think he, I think he's fucking fantastic. I love oh, you, man, Earl. I love mine. you, Earl. Uh, all right, right so <clears throat> here's uh, let me go let me go through and read this, and I'm gonna stop and we can comment, and then we'll can, we'll get back to the reading. All right, boys, here we go. Yeah. Uh, after many discussions and much of the feedback, analyst or I'm sorry, analysis, uh, we decided <laughs> to change the direction of the Naval Training Center development to meet your expectations and resolve <laughs> your concerns. The part of the NTC connected with resetting and revisiting the ship lines will stay, uh, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. However, the rewards will be fully reworked. The design process is not an easy task, so we cannot share a lot of details right now, but what we can share is the new general concept. Mm. All right, here we go. We will fully remove direct performance buff for ships that were originally presented in the system. Great. Absolutely great. I'm glad that they gotten that. Uh, your feedback on this was very clear. We, do, uh, we don't believe that reducing these buffs further is any good or it will resolve your concerns at all uh, to make a reward not interesting at the same time. <clears throat> we will instead focus on unique, interesting, but non-mandatory content like new ships. For a start, we will confirm that the Tier 10 Cruiser Colbert and the Tier 10 uh, U.S. Battleship, the USS Ohio, uh, will be the first rewards for the Naval Training Center. They will be available in the Army for a special resource earned by revisiting the ship lines during the seasons. And apparently you can only do this, you can only do like maybe one or two lines per season from what I'm gathering so far. Uh, the new resource earned will take place between casually, uh, will take place between casually accessible coal and the much more rare steel, which is uh, mostly locked behind a competitive role. We will, in, uh, we will invest our resources in exploring other new types uh, of rewards. For example, we're heavily limited by the game lore itself, which uh, I have a comment on that. We will try to design some new cosmetics to make your ships look cool and show off your achievement. Another option for the future reward like are our legendary upgrades, including in the game a uh, long time ago. Offer a trade-off in exchange for players' play style for specific ships instead of direct buff. In any case, additional rewards will take more time, and we'll be happy to hear your new ideas. First thing that jumps out to me on this page, OJ, is this comment right here. For example, while we are heavily limited by the lore itself. <laughs> now, this is something that uh, that Mijesh commented on, and I'm going to steal I'm going to steal Mijesh's comment here. He immediately went out to Twitter and copy pasted <laughs> yeah. a kitty cat camo. They have a camo for the uh, for the Harakaze that has a fucking cat on it. You are not limited by lore. You guys can produce any fucking thing that you want to. Don't fucking feed us bullshit. Uh, how about all the anime shit? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, but that was a collaboration. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't care. Collaboration for fucking what? You put a shit ton of anime in the game that nobody fucking wanted at first. 
Well, a ton of weebs. So the idea is, let's start getting into ideas. All right, all right, OJ. Let's 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 pick yeah. into the back behind those piercing green eyes of yours, and let's dig into that fucking brain. Let's some ideas for some fucking rewards here. Obviously, camos and a flag or something like that are are are, uh, are a good thing. They are a good thing for uh, for somebody to separate themselves, right? So, yeah, I mean, I would like, I would like to see uh, camos. I would like to see uh, goals, right? Goals. Get camo. Get some flags. Uh, uh, e- even like pirate flags, right? Instead of the pirate flag, bring something else for them, right? Yeah, I'm down for that as long as it's economically beneficial and it's cosmetically beneficial. Something that's not going to give anybody else um, an advantage. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so basically, uh, basically, if you guys, if you guys ever played Call of Duty or played something that has a prestige tier system or a Paragon system, not unlike Diablo three, Diablo three is directly correlated to buffs. So I don't really that one really doesn't fit into the end of the situation yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, but something like Call of Duty, and I'm I love Call of Duty, but I've prestige you know ten times on that thing. I get a little icon. Boom! I get a little icon on my little fucking name that says, "Hey, you're prestige number four. You're prestige number ten. Blah blah blah." You've actually played this game a long time. Uh, then, on the other hand, they also have camouflages for your guns. You have skins for your guns, and one of the newest ones that I have seen uh, with the with the last Call of Duty that I played, uh, they dude, if you got if you got like three or four kills, your camo would change during the game. It would start yeah. out with a base camo, and then it would go purple, green, whatever. To however many however many kill streaks you had, so why not do that for every twenty five grand? Your 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 camo shifts a color. It starts out at blue, goes to purple, then to yellow, and then you know fucking gold. I don't care, but that's some that's something unique and that's something different that a lot of people aren't really gonna see, uh, right? And you know or or that people are gonna see and they're gonna be like, yo, that's a badass camo. I want to bust my ass and I'm gonna go get that fucking camo because it looks dope as fuck. But, but let's also not. Put this into seasons. People work regular jobs. People are in the military. I don't care what country you're in. You get you're getting deployed. You're not gonna have time if they do this in seasons, like it's clan battles and ranked. Right. If people want to do it, just let them do it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I have I a agree. season for it. I, I agree. Um, I'm I'm a uh, I am a uh, big fan. I am one a. They wanted some more containers, man. I am a I'm a giant fan of being able to reset my stats or reset my ships and going back. Like I said before, uh, you can't buff it, which they've taken that away. That's great. Now you have to reward it properly. What are some of the proper rewards that you guys would think that you guys would like to enjoy, or or would you guys enjoy proper things so that you would it would get you to reset your reset and play through some of these boats that you've played for before? Uh, with me. I mean, I'm all for it. I want, I want a camo. Give me a pirate flag that says four times, five times, whatever. They did it for rank season. Why not? Why not bring back the pirate flags again? They're very enjoyable. And people are like, look, I got my, I got, I've ranked out four times, which technically meant you've ranked out seven times because at three you got the flint, at five you got the goddamn, oh, yeah. uh, the goddamn black. So, or you ranked out six times. So, I mean, that would be, that would be a, that would be a thing, you know. Let's reset this boat 32 times, and you get your name on a boat. USS Sir Venom IK. It's a Tier 9 Fletcher because there's a bajillion fucking Fletchers out there. Do it 100 times, and then we have uh, Captain Admiral Ogisms. Then they fly Ogisms to, uh, they fly Ogisms to Russia and make him do all the things. Oh, I mean, I'm God just primal him. on your ass. Fucking God help him when I get out there. Could you imagine me on that video team? I'd be like, I, I would have just sat down. I wouldn't even have stood up. I would just been like, y'all are fucking stupid. <laughs> Do this whole thing, this whole presentation, I'd be like, y'all are stupid. Yeah. I, I kind of wish the I... What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Unfortunately, uh, what he's talking about is the uh, community contributor summit happened uh, this past week or a couple weeks ago in St. Petersburg, Russia. And unfortunately, I was not invited to this time around. I would like to get next time, Earl. Earl, make it happen. Uh, I would like to get it. I would like to go next time. So, what, and and some of these questions. Did you watch those videos, OJ? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I watched. I watched all of them from Flambaz, I Cheese. Uh, I think I think Majash put out a little video of it. Yeah, but I was watching all of them. And I was like, dude, nobody said they were stupid. I, I would have been the guy. This is why I'm not invited to shit. This is why Wargaming doesn't like me. I would have sat there without asking for a mic. I would just be like, y'all are stupid. Yeah. 
Well, I know stu- this is stupid. A lot, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the things, uh, a lot of the things. Uh, hey, uh, FYI, if you guys, if you're gonna ping me something, do it on, uh, do it on uh, Twitch. Don't do it on Discord because uh, I'm using Discord to copy the, to capture his camera. FYI. Uh, anyway, uh, there's a lot of things out there that that they tried to compensate with these buffs, which I thought was stupid because I was like. How, if you have 5% more dispersion, is a fucking premium goddamn consumable going to help? It doesn't. It doesn't help at all. That doesn't compensate anybody. I think they were trying to compensate for the amount of, uh, the amount of, uh... They thought that uh, giving uh, premium consumables to everybody was going to reduce the hate on this. And it just didn't happen. I don't. I, I don't know, man. I, I I still think that I still think that this game is catering to a very stupid part of the uh, the community. <laughs> the very low yeah, just brown, like an fire and the very and the fire chance exactly. Right now. I mean, yeah, the very obviously. the very low brown guys obviously. that that have never really learned how to play this game. Who they they even said that fifty percent of the games that are played at tier ten. 50% of the games, 50% of those people at those games are not using fucking premium consumables. So instead of instead Dude, of having these people such be bullshit cuz everybody's smart running premium about consumables. It, who's not running premium consumables? I run premium consumables. The only consumables time I'm not running time. premium consumables is when I'm so fucking drunk I can't see straight and I forget to put it on a ship that I haven't played yet. That's it. I don't know, man. Also, it, CBDPS is so broken. Sorry, not sorry. Well, I'll and, agree with Flamewell on that one. I, I think that there's, I think that there's a big disconnect. Uh, there's a big disconnect with a lot of the things that, look, if you can't play the game, then you shouldn't be rewarded because I can. I shouldn't. Right. You shouldn't have the rewards that I have because I can sit and I can dedicate anywhere, like I said before, one to twenty-four hours of fucking gameplay uh, at any point in time. Any point in time, I can sit here and I can play. Now, should you be rewarded because, OJ, you can only play for six hours a day as opposed to me, I can play for 12 hours a day? Should you be rewarded the same as me? Should, should you have the same time. shit as I have? No. So this is, this is a thing that they need to separate and they need to say, no, if you guys want this, go fucking earn it. If you cannot go play rank to get the steal, you cannot play clan battles to get the steal. Sorry about your fucking luck, bro. And I'm sorry that's harsh love, but at some point in time, they have to say no, and they have to keep something special for the people who actually can do this. Right. And I, maybe maybe that's a bad attitude, or maybe that's, maybe that's an elitist attitude or whatever, but that's the attitude that I am rewarded for this. You should not be rewarded if you don't put in the fucking work, people. And I... Yeah, I, uh, because of this tonight, I'm, I'm going to start a new account. I'm going to start a new account. I'm going to show everybody what it, what it fucking takes. Uh, and this is just me playing after work. This isn't me playing off of stream either. I'm gonna do this on stream, uh, and it's go- it's gonna take me a month to get to tier ten. I can guarantee you. And you gotta think. It's not gonna take. I'm that putting long in to tier ten. <laughs> I'm putting in four to six hours per night, and then maybe that random fucking Saturday where I get twelve hours. Dude, I'm on call twenty four seven three sixty five. I can get called in at any time, so I might have to stop. Right. Now, I imagine understand. somebody that's in the military that uh, they get a new assignment, they go to their new assignment in a week of that new assignment because they're headed to a base where it's notorious. Once you go to that base, guess what? You're being deployed. Yeah. And that week, they find out they're being deployed. Now they're being deployed. Do you really think they're going to worry about fucking trying to grind this shit they're, out in World of Warships? They're definitely not. They're definitely not. Hell no. Uh, Do you think I would fucking worry about grinding this shit out in World of Warships when I've got uh, <laughs> a fucking DNS issue that happens to hit 16 of my sites out of the 130? No. 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 Well, I mean, it, it's, I it's all about priorities, right? It's all about priorities. I mean, this is the only yeah. thing that I do. Like, I, I get up, I take care of the kids, clean up the house, and then I, 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 and then I stream. That's it. That's all I do. I mean, like, I have the time to do it. 
you know, and I, I understand. Right, yeah, I inter- so you got a little I, bit more time to sit there yeah. and play. And I'm not, I'm not saying that uh, you might have to stop your stuff to take care of your kids yeah. even. So, dude, it's just tone deaf. It's tone deaf. It's, it seems like everybody in World of Warships is either too young to understand or too stupid to understand. I don't know about stupid. I wouldn't say stupid. They're just they're just they're looking at it from a business perspective, and I think I think a majority of it is all about the uh, majority of it is all about how can we maximize our profits from this. And I think I think that that if blinds... you and I could come up with better ideas to make them profit, and they've got a team of fucking thirty doing it, obviously they're either too young or too stupid. Uh, I, I'm just I'm not I'm not gonna go the stupid route. Maybe young. Okay, fine. I'll give you young, but I'm not gonna go the stupid route. Uh, I'll also, go the stupid I, route. all right, fine. You can, you can have it. I'm not gonna go that way. <laughs> uh, it's kind of it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard for me as they are. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're not paying me or anything, but they they are giving me access to these uh, to these ships. So I kind of. Kind of have to watch what so, I say I mean, here you, about the negativity yeah. on it because I'm very, very. Yeah, what do you call somebody that uh, bites the hand that feeds you? A dog. You call him stupid. Yeah. That's that's, no. that's stupid. Get, get out of here, dog. You're hot. My dog's like sitting on my feet down here, and I'm like, God dang. Uh, <laughs> no, overall, I think that they need to they need to separate rewards for things. They need to keep things. Uh, they need to keep. They need to keep things separate. Uh, rank rank season rewards are rank season rewards. Period. You should not you should not attribute those to anything else. If you want to reward something like operations, then do it only for operations. And then if you have to go in here and play this operation to get that reward, not uh, well. I want this thing over here. I want this. Uh, I want this steel ship. So let's put let's put steel in the fucking PVE. Fuck you. Go play the goddamn clan wars. I'm sorry. There has to be some kind of there has to be some kind of separation uh, between between the reward system. Reward this, you get a special camo. Reward that, you get a steel ship. Reward this, you get another ship. Whatever, and that's fine. But they have to be separate. You cannot you cannot coincide anything because then it means very little to those rewards. You have to have put some kind of value on these things. You know, the Stalingrad. If you want the Stalingrad, you got to bust your ass and get that steel for it. How can you do that? Clan battles rank season. That's it. Or wait till they wait till they sell another steel monsters campaign. But that's another story right. for a snowflake event or whatever, which I think was a mistake and they should have never done it. But. So I don't know. Cool skins. I think cool skins having a gold fucking Montana out there at the end of the game, man, that'd be badass. Gold Yamato and shit out there. That'd be pretty cool. A flag that's hey, I'm I fucking I'm an idiot and I re I re rolled my accounts seventy two times or whatever. Just have one just give them one flag that every time you do it, it rolls up to two, rolls up to three, rolls up to four. People will people will dig that, you know, and then it also alleviates some of the bullshit and and also causes trolling at the same fucking time. Man, you've reset that ship like fucking seven times and you still play it like a piece of shit, you know. Yeah. Fun, 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 fun. There you go. Uh. What, all right, so uh, let's move. Let's move off of the naval training. So, well, let's give me your last thoughts on this. I agree that a lot of some of these things are pretty tone deaf, and they don't really, they don't really uh, get the feel for the community until something like this happens, to where they the community just goes uh, pitchforks and fucking hand grenades, and they just absolutely throw a big ass fit like this. What are, what are your what are your overall thoughts, man? Because this is a big deal. This is a this is probably one of the very few times that I have seen the community come together unanimously, absolutely unanimously to, to shout something down or whatever. Like I said before, it was, it was this carriers. And then, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Actually, there was two times, um, this and carriers were carriers for, were first introduced, man. I mean, there was, there was a lot of hate on that, and they didn't back up. But they backed up on this one. I'm I'm, I'm just happy to see the community coming together again. Yeah. Uh, that's that's one thing. It didn't matter who you hated, who you loved, who you who you kind of like, who you follow, who you don't follow. Everybody was coming together saying the same fucking thing. Uh, it was tone deaf. It was a stupid move. 
and I cannot believe it made it as far as the CC Summit. I honestly, uh, honestly, that that I think I think overall, I think that was the big. Was nobody in there in their company standing up and saying that this was a bad idea? You cannot buff these ships. That's what concerns me. I think I think overall, that's the most concerning thing to me. Is like. How did nobody stand up and say that this was a bad idea? Or did they say it and they were saying, nope, we're going to do it anyway? That's what I'm saying. Like, I would have been the guy to lose my job. Because uh, I do it at my job now. I'll, I'll be the first one to stand up and be like, no, this is a fucking stupid idea. This is terrible. What are y'all What are y'all smoking crack? I want some of that crack. Well, at least let me have the crack. God damn, what the fuck are y'all doing? No. But nobody at Wargaming did that. Nobody cared. Nobody cared enough. They're just like, oh, I'm earning my pay check. It's just a job. Uh, they also, uh, they also had. Uh, there was one idea it's out there that I, that I forgot about. Uh, OJ is that? Uh, are there any of the temporary camos that you enjoy that you like? <laughs> Not really. Right. So school bus, just because it's school bus. Right. So what about if they gave you an opportunity to purchase a permanent version of that camo for your ship? <laughs> No, not out with 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 these no. with these reward systems. No, because they're gonna, they're gonna charge fucking twelve dollars for it. Well, I mean, if they do the $12 reward $12 system, bullet. well, fine, fucking twelve dollars. I mean, it's better than the fucking Yamato permanent camel you bought for four thousand or eight thousand to balloon. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, if yeah, we're doing tit for tat, then yeah, you can look at a tier eight lightning premium camo, which is fifteen fucking dollars. No. Who the fuck is gonna buy no, that? No, no, no. Listen, you're not, you're miss you miss a point. If they if they reward that with that new uh, I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, this new resource, you have the ability to make one of these camos permanent. Of course, everybody goes for the high the high dollar sky camo or whatever that gives like the the big ass uh, free XP buff or the big ass commander experience buff. A lot of people a lot of people are are, are asking for that in some of these discords uh, that I'm involved with. I don't think that that I don't I think that that actually works. <laughs> No, I still don't like it because then, uh, you know, these players get the, uh, basically a free premium camo because they get to grind it out in the month that's designated for it or week or whatever the fuck, uh, right? From their season that you can grind this shit out for this premium consumable or you can pay the $250 to get the Benham, right? Yeah. Same thing. Grind out. Uh, yo, uh, speaking of that, uh, Savage Battle. What do you think of this? First of all, let me go on record and say that I absolutely love this. I absolutely love the Savage Battle. And I, I'll Look, tell you why. I'll tell you why. A lot of people don't like it. I, I tell you, a lot of people don't like this thing, but I absolutely love this thing because it's a pure 100% skill-based match. It is a skill-based match. I don't care if it's skill-based or not. Uh, here's, here's the way I've always stood about these kind of, kind of events. right? All of these events have been good for the people that want to play it. The novel, and that's great. Play them, but I don't think I should add another currency to those that don't want to play them. But if you're having fun with it, I'm not going to down you. Go ahead and play yeah. it. Have some fun. We need we we need something to break the mold anyway, right? I think uh, I think I think these events, the, all of the events that I've been involved with for the past year, have been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you know, three years I've been playing this game, and the three years of the events, I've enjoyed every one of them. The Halloween events yeah, are fantastic. Dude. The space battles are fantastic. I really like this one. I think this is probably my favorite one. The only one that I missed out on was the 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 bathtub boats. I missed out oh, on those. Yeah, I played the shit out of that one. I thought I heard I heard that it was pretty good, but I missed on I missed out good. on that one because I didn't start playing until that 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 June after that after that came out. But the that one was really good. Uh, there's very honestly, little. All, they, they've all been really good. Yeah. Uh, have. The only uh, one that they I go above and beyond for these events, and it's great. I, I question the subs. I question that. I question the subs. Now, obviously, subs are going to come whether I want them or not, uh, and it, they have to be different than what They're they the were way. in the events. It has to be different because that is not good enough for this game, for this game mode. They're not good enough, and they, and they can they can be way too strong. And they're going to have to nut them or they're going to do something with them, something different. You're also going to have to add depth charges. You're going to have to add hydro to everything. You know, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be another mess. It's going to be another mess. It's going to be another debacle like this. It's going to mess are. because uh, subs are slow to begin with. Right. No. In real life, they're slow. So they're going to speed them up and blow them way out of proportion. Basically, like every Soviet ship introduced so far um, and just. 
do stupid things with them. They're going to have to to make them viable. I don't know, man. I honestly, I don't think. That... I think that it's just going to end up being another fucking DD class that just can't hit DDs. Everybody has deep water peed, so is that what we're saying? It's going to be it's going to be worse than that. I think so. I yeah. I I don't I don't think that personally. I don't think that subs have any place in this game in the current state. There's a lot of things that have to change in the current state of this game to make subs a viable option for to to join us. I don't think they have the right game engine to make this shit viable. Think so? Don't I don't think so. Uh, explain it. Explain why. I don't think they're going to be able to balance everything properly to something that can be fully submerged and undetectable hmm. without radar. No. And well, even radar Radar doesn't penetrate spot. water that yeah, well. It's so not gonna what are they water, just going to say? Well, now radar penetrates everything. No, they they just add a lot more hydro out there, and they have hydro already goes almost two minutes with the, with the mod, and they just they just range hydro out even further. Radar already penetrates mountains, bud. I think uh, I I think uh, I think that there's a lot of sentiment. There's a lot of sentiment to subs. I fucking hate submarines. I think they're boring, and I think they're they're just. They are good in one aspect of this game, and that is for a solo event on its own, or put it into put it into operations or something. They could, they could do something there, but in for the main game for randoms, they have zero place at the moment. Well, uh, I would say make them fucking very forward. They can't attack anything but carriers. How about that? <laughs> like at the start of the game, their position is so far forward. The carriers have to do something about them first. Let Drop that it. be a thing. Well, and if, they, if they don't want to do a uh, like a fuel kind of thing for carriers, uh, where planes can't go so far from the carrier to where the carrier can just sit in a fucking corner the whole game. They said at A one, uh, and, and, and yeah, the, and it's, the, it's yeah. time to introduce uh, subs. I think uh, I think I think there's a there's a lot of uh, <sighs> there's a lot of animosity toward uh, toward wargaming right now because of some of the some of the moves that they've made, not necessarily the moves, but they're they're. There's rumors. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. This is just rumor, the rumor mill flowing around of uh, dropping radar buoys and dropping smoke buoys and, and, and things like that coming from the fucking CV. Oh, fucking court. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who is yeah. thinking about this crap? But I'm like, I'm hearing these rumors, and I'm like, that would be terrible for the fucking game. If you're going to do that, then you have to remove, you have to do some other shit to balance that out. How, you know, and there's still absolutely no counter for radar at all whatsoever. Uh, so there's no there's no chaff flakes, you know. I mean, there's nothing. There's zero counter for radar other than being at 13 kilometers. That's it. Just being away from it, which slows the game down and pushes people back further and not wanting to engage and not wanting to get their boat shot at, which makes the game more absolute passive. Absolute idiocy. Rumors. That's, that's rumors, no, DJ. That's all that, you know what? No, they, they just want... Uh... They want this game to be as passive as possible. They want them to. Uh, they want to try to be the Counter Strike of the world. It's yeah, about, not. Well, it's already passive as hell, right? It's already passive as hell, and it's already an oh, eighteen yeah. dot dot spammy thing, uh, which brings me, which leads me into the next the next boat I wanted to talk to you about. Did you ever get a chance to see the Slava in action? I know you didn't get to play it, but did yes. you ever get a chance to see it in, in action? Yeah, I, I think seen it action. I think that that boat is absolutely perfect for what we have going on right now. It is the perfect boat to come out for this fucking meta that we have. Long range HE spamming Henrys and Zows that are fucking wiggly as shit that you can't fucking touch because they wiggle out of your shots. Those things, man, you're going to wiggle out of my shot? Fine, but when I touch you, I'm hitting you six fucking times and you're probably going to die. I think it was absolutely perfect for this mode. If you if you were bow in and you got hit by the slava, you weren't not much is going to happen to you. But if you were broadside, you were getting dev struck off the board. Absolutely enjoyed yeah. the shit out of it. Now a lot of people out there are going to sit there and tell you that, and it just promotes the camping. Fuck, motherfuckers are camping anyway. No matter what, thirty six kilometers on the freaking Yamato with a with a spotter plane. You know, a spotter plane range mod Yamato shooting from thirty six kilometers, and you can still dev strike people. So what's the difference? What's the difference between them cruisers at 20 kilometers slinging nothing but HE? There's no difference. And I think it's a perfect oh, counter for the meta. Nearly fucking 60% accuracy, too. Yeah. For every shell. Yeah. So, 
I think I think it's a good idea. But anyway, what do you what did you think of this thing? I would just like to see their dispersion get fucking nerfed. The car, the cruiser dispersion. They buffed yeah. they buffed the entire uh, the entire God line. Damn right they did. Uh, of the IJN man, and honestly, I think that uh, with tier five and tier six, fine because they're limited on the amount of guns that they have. Uh, but when you go up to tier seven and tier eight, tier nine, they don't need a they their 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 accuracy was fine. Why did it need to come down even further? And Dude, the Zal is even more deadly now than it's ever been. Well, the Zal didn't get touched. They they brought everything to the Zal levels of accuracy. Is what happened. It's stupid accurate. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Max range, and I'm hitting six, seven shells. Like more than yeah. that. Probably more than that. Probably more than that. Well, you get twelve out shells of twelve on that thing? total. Probably ten. Might miss two. <clears throat> It's been interesting. It's been an interesting couple of months. It's been an interesting couple of months for the game. Uh, I might also say that it's been an interesting couple of years for the battleship players. Now, I by no means, I by no means yeah. a battleship main. Yeah. I by no means a cruiser main or DD main. But I do play everything, and I try to play everything as average as I can. Uh, I have noticed now that maybe this is just uh, maybe this is something. But I wanted to, I wanted to get your I wanted to get your opinion on this since you're you're the best battleship player in the world. Number one. <clears throat> What do you get? What do you think of the dispersion factor here? Now we talked about this with the Georgia the other day, and how the Georgia is extremely accurate for some people and extremely bullshit for others. And that's just basically it's RNG, RNG, RNG. Uh, the Georgia for me, I miss shots from seven kilometers, and they spray all over the place, and I hit one out of four shells. When I'm getting shot at yeah. by a Georgia, they're hitting me for double citadels, and they're hitting me for four and five, four and five out of six. Chances are those are probably forty five percent players. Is uh, there do you my think first that day there's... in Georgia? Yeah, I had a great fucking time. I had multiple two hundred thousand damage games. Yeah. Uh, today, I was working to get one hundred forty four thousand. I think that with with that statement there, it, it makes me think that you you say that there is a percentage uh, percentage protection. Oh, absolutely! Like if you, no, if the, you're the below game's a designed certain, if you're, to bring if you're you down. RNG is designed to yeah. bring you down to forty nine percent, right? Or forty nine and a half, or whatever. Whatever it is. But that's what it's designed to do. So you can do good one game where you didn't expect to, but the next oh, might not be so good. Might have a good game and then trash and then amazing, mm -hmm. and then it starts the cycle all over again. I don't know that it cycles. I think I think it truly is RNG. Absolutely random number generated, but uh, it is it's definitely not skill based. Now I, you can put some skill into it. It's not saying you can't put skill into it and make no. make make well, it there, work. There's 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 skill and there's skill in everything, and I think that the skill level how is how hard is do you want to fucking work for? Is drastically reduced. Now we were talking to me, Jay, on the podcast a couple of a couple of months ago or last year's podcast. And uh, and I talked to him about it, and I want I want to get your opinion on this. I feel that this game has dipped into a sixty-five to seventy percent RNG factor and about thirty percent skill. And that thirty percent skill consists of your position on the map, your reaction to those players, and then where you put your shots, where you pull that trigger at. Because as soon as you pull that trigger, it's all up to RNG from there. Yeah, I'd probably put even less than that now, just because uh, seeing. Seeing broadside cruisers and everything used to be able to black the shit out of them and be like, you know what? You fucked up. You fucked up. You can't do that anymore. RNG fucks with that. So now I see a broadside cruiser, I shoot at them, and I'm splitting them. Why am I splitting a fucking broadside cruiser that I've been aiming at for a minute now? Maybe, waiting for him to go broadside. I'm splitting him. Maybe, that, that, that's fucking dumb. Maybe maybe this is just kind of confirmation bias. I understand that this is a very loaded end of this question here, but uh, I have been noticing a lot of a lot of inadequacies and in, and in over the past uh, I want to say I want to say as far back as the British battleship line is where I started noticing a lot of things going south. Um, the Missouri used to be one of the most accurate boats in the game, and. I feel like there's been like little ninja nurse to this thing that has caused it to go into where I can I I feel like I'm literally playing a Massachusetts with the dispersion that I'm getting on this thing. 
the last couple of last 10, 15, 20 games that I've played in it. Yeah, Wargaming is known for their ninja nerfs. Like everybody, everybody said something about it, but nobody wants to confirm it. Yeah, it's there. They just don't want to fucking. They don't. They don't want to talk about it because they want to nerf shit and not tell anybody. Mm-hmm. It happens all the time. It happens with other ships as well. It's not just battleships. No, it, it happens. Battleships. With, it happens. You're going to see a lot things. more complaining about because it's a majority of a lot the more player. streamers for it. It's a it's a majority of the player base. A majority of the player base. There, it's 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 not easy. Majority of the player play. base is cruisers. Think it's so? the people that want to post. Probably the ones that are having, they're being affected by. It. Now that's not to say that my R N my R N G is probably one of the worst R N Gs that anybody has ever seen. Uh, talking about fire chance, talking about shots. I have I have a lot of shots that I can recall that uh, that go through, and it's a beautiful shot, and it absolutely dominates these people, and they and they and they die. Okay, I have those shots. I have a lot of those shots. Uh, I used to have a lot more of those shots. Now it's kind of it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, but I also noticed a lot lately that the worse my dispersion is, when I go to get these broadside shots, I'm getting like one hit, but it's a citadel, and it's like okay, that should be enough for me. But I'm like, this guy should have been dead, right? You know? And like everything else just sprays all around the guy, and I hit him in a weird spot, and I get a citadel for no fucking reason. I'm like, why is that a citadel? Then why is my six shots that I put right in the side of him for three kilometers over pins? You know what I'm saying? Or, oh, you're going through the boat. Whatever. Fuck that. Fuck that crap. There's plenty of times on my yeah. stream I've said, I cannot believe that was a yeah. citadel. Last night, uh, last night I got it pretty... It should have been. It should have. Yeah. Last night, it, it came to a head last night uh, when, I'm, uh, when I'm sitting there shooting at these people and a chappy seven kilometers away from me and my split and I hit an overpin on the top of his boat. I'm aiming for the water line right in the middle and I hit the front of his boat on the top. And I get an overpin. And all three of the other shells, one guy went over the top of him, over a superstructure. The other two dropped into the water from seven kilometers. Yeah. Let me guess. He turned in a little bit. Nope. He was sitting still. Dead still. Dead still. <laughs> Dead fucking still. Yeah. So, and, and it leads me to believe... Uh, that there's some kind of protection with these people sitting dead still. I tell you how many shots that I've had or how many times that just absolutely befuddles me where these guys are dead still, they've beached, and you can't get a goddamn decent decent shot on these people. Uh, I know everybody's everybody's saying this, everybody's seen this, but there's also those times where it's, it doesn't happen very often anymore, but when they're sitting dead still, you actually, you actually knock them the fuck out. It's 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 weird. It's few and far between it's now. Weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's few and far between now. Uh, this happened all the time back in the day. You would just you would destroy somebody for fucking up. But yeah, I would get fucked up for fucking. I, up. I shit, man. I get dude. I still to this day I get punished so hard for making a mistake. And then when these other people make mistakes, I am not able to put them down and punish them pretty hard. Because you're probably like right in the median. I'm now. I'm now. Almost to that point where, like, my stats at least consider me to be Unicum overall, over everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm almost breaching that point. I'm very fucking close. Yeah. Well, I know so my, like, I know my win my rate. My shit is just trash. My win rate is sixty uh, percent across the board. Sixty-two, I think, is the uh, the high, and sixty is the low, uh, except for CVs. But I don't really count those as actual boats. Um, so uh, my my PR rating and all the damage ratings they're in the green they're you know low blues or whatever they're they're just a just a little bit average or whatever just a little bit above average and yeah. and I'm seeing these people they're having absolute monster games and you go over there and look at them I'm like holy shit dude this guy's got a 49 percent fucking win rate why is this guy so much better why is why is his boat performing better be in the same fucking boat, shooting at the same target. I spray around six shots in a row, and he he comes through and one shots the guy. And I, I just new player protection. Is this a thing? Bad player protection? Do you do you think that this is a thing? I'm interested in getting your guys' opinions there. If you guys are over on YouTube, leave a comment in the section below, and I'll get back to you. I'll know it uh, as soon as I can. If you guys are here in the chat, go ahead and type at IK and then post your comment. We're gonna get up to the Q and A session here in just a minute. Uh, either way. So uh, let's uh, let's let's take one more topic here, and then we'll go into the Q and A session. It'll be kind of a quick topic. Uh, let me get your overall feelings of the game. Now you can be as harsh as you want to here. Uh, overall feelings of the game. Do you think that the direction that they've gone is good? Do you think that it's bad? Where do you think that they could change to make it more appealing for people? 
Well, they could start by hiring me. I would change this game day one and make it better for everybody. Because um, I would make sure that we work towards a proper matchmaking system to where everybody felt equal, at least, and they could provide something, uh, as well as continue to learn. Uh, what we have now is uh, we have, you know, your bottom trash tier hitting super unicums in one random battle. Uh, they're not learning. They don't want to learn because they're not forced to. Uh, they're getting rewards no matter what. Um, and I don't like the direction of the game. Uh, the direction of the game would be would have been great had they not come out with NTC, and we would have seen that you know uh, maybe they do have a right direction, but uh, them coming out with NTC, uh, it they, they backed it for a full twenty four hours with 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 several several messages to us saying uh no it's not it's not actually like that but it's like this which is like how they originally fucking put it out uh no they don't have a good vision of this game the vision of the game is absolutely trash and uh, i would fire everybody i'm just saying <laughs> but not earl earl's fucking amazing i don't know any of the other guys like i barely know any of the other guys Get Earl all stand up and say that this last thing was fucking stupid if not I don't care. If you didn't stand up and say it wasn't stupid, you're fired. You stood up and said it was stupid, you're the new CEO. There you go. New, at this point. New CEO here, Wargaming, OGisms is firing everybody. Not me. I'm firing everybody. I don't really care. My, my, my opinion of the game at this state is the game is in a decent place. It's a lot better than it. Uh, it it's gotten a little bit worse than it than it used to be. Uh, just How just is the game in just, a better place? Just, just, hang on, hang on. Uh, just as in a... Uh, consistency aspect. I think the game has gotten worse. There's a lot of fucking content out there for people to play. There's a lot of fucking content. You know, you got the operations, you got you got co-op, whoever the fuck goes and plays co-op 100% of the time. I don't want to hear your opinions. Um, the the people that play rank, the people that partake in all of these other things, that, that is that is um, that is optional for them to do. I think where the game, I think where a lot where the game fails, steal. Bringing out steel was a mistake. Bringing out the steel was a mistake. Bringing out currencies of there, then selling that currency is a mistake, because then it then it then it puts people into a oh well, this game is pay to win, and even though this game is not pay to win, and I think you'll agree on that, it's pay to advance, and I'm fine with that, or pay to look good. You know, I don't have a problem paying to look good either, because it doesn't give any advantages. I think at that point in that point in time, they've they've kind of put themselves in a corner and they, they're, they're never going to recover from it. They either, either you take it all out or you make it so, you make it so high that nobody wants to touch it. No, they've, they've released too many premium ships uh, to say that it's not pay to win at this point. Yeah. Um, you either have to buy the ship outright, which is 70 to $144. You either have to buy containers, which could end up costing you $250 with the Venom uh, you have to. It was two hundred. It was two hundred premium fucking dollars just to get a premium ship now, and uh, that just doesn't seem right. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that they should take some of these premiums and put them more as reward ships? Like, and and only you can only get this if you do say like this like this savage battle event. You can only get the Benham if you took part into these into these challenges. Then it becomes yeah, so. A, if you wanted to make this uh, pay to progress, right? You really want to make this pay to progress and earn like a decent dollar. You have premium actually mean something to where you can earn these ships, or you can buy these containers. Maybe if you want to progress a little bit more with some experience or that currency. But everybody can earn that currency just by playing random battles. That's pay to progress. Uh, the the current situation is, I hate to say it. It's pay to play. I just not pay to win. It's it's no pay, matter how much money you put pay in there. to play what's OP right now. That's what it is. That 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 is very apt and very astute. I like that. It pay to play what is OP right now. 
Uh, you saw it with the Belfast, and I don't. I still don't think the Belfast is OP. It's all OP in the right hands. We saw it with the Stalingrad when it first came out. All oh, this won't fucking OP. How come these guys got it? Because they fucking earned it. They fucking earned it. Virtual Senpai earned it. Mijesh earned this goddamn Stalingrad. These people are damn good players in this fucking game. So why wouldn't them? Pl why wouldn't they play? a boat to its fullest extent so it might seem op but when it starts filtering down to the hands of myself or hands of people people that have a 48 percent win rate but they bought the steel and they got this boat and yep. it's not op it's not an op fucking ship you know i mean these... some of them aren't yeah so like uh stalin is not op once more people start to see it out and see the weakness of it yeah that's a different story but uh I think uh, there's other ships that are out there that uh, they're pretty strong. All right. Now, I'm, I'm going to admit, I, I honestly think the Belfast is a bit overrated. I think it's a bit overrated. The more that I play that boat, the more overrated it is because it relies too much on the rest of your team to do shit. If you don't have your radar up and nobody's spotting for you, you're a piece of shit. But you could say that about just about any cruiser that humps islands or humps smokes. So I don't find that that boat is ridiculously OP. I think it's a little bit overrated. I think there's a lot of other ships in this game that people tout highly on that I think they've kind of been power crept out i think the fletcher's been power crept a little bit and it's not as good as it used to be the sims is still not good over six kilometers uh just they're just they're just a little bit overrated ships and i think people have a lot of sentiment because they used to be good like the mermansk used to be good so people love that boat when in reality it's just an omaha and it's still yeah, subject so. to the omaha the omaha damage Get hit in the butt, and guess what? You're getting citadeled off the board. Get hit in the smokestack, you're getting citadeled off the board. So, so I think I think a lot of people have this nostalgia for these boats, and I I don't know. Maybe the nostalgia, maybe the nostalgia, um, blinds them a little bit. I don't know to where they where they can't see the reality of where 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 the game is gone, or the reality of the situation, or maybe it's just me. Not really, because you can see jackass, when, ships, I don't know. Uh, when they first get released, you got 47 percenters that will get the ship and do stupid shit. It's it's not so much of, uh, they're in a clan that, d that, that uh, does enough to get the steel to get the Stalingrad. They were 47 percenters, but getting an 80 percent win rate. Stalingrad's been slowly nerfed back. Whether anybody wants to acknowledge that or not, it's up to you. Mm. But that's what happened. Yeah. All right, one more one more comment here, and I want to get your opinion on this, and then we'll go to the questions. Uh, guys, get your Q&A right now. We're hanging out with my man OGisms here. Uh, you guys can hit him up over at his Twitch, twitch.tv slash OGisms, or at OGisms on the Twitter, or you guys can hit me up at sir underscore venom underscore IK, or you guys right here, twitch.tv slash sir venom IK. All right, OGisms. Do you think that the newer boats come out that they're OP, that they uh, here in about six months, the Georgia's going to be in just another pile of shit? Uh, from the current stats that we've seen, I think the Georgia's going to be very powerful. Think it's going to still? You think it's going to stay around? Well, I know, I know. We, you made very a, you made a comment on your show the other day, twitch.tv slash OG, uh, about boats that come out that are very, 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 very strong. And they eventually, without anybody saying anything, they nerf them to hell, and they and yeah, they become they, they become down. invaluable. Yeah. Do you think that this will happen? Do you think that this is a perfect Unlikely. example? Yeah. I, I want I want to challenge people to watch play the fucking Georgia now, and then in six months go play the Georgia again, and and see. And see and yeah, see, you'll and have see that, where uh, it that old man balls right swinging back and forth, hitting each fucking knee with their balls right. It's 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 that right there, like what we're seeing with carriers. Right. Uh, it's just that pendulum of fucking nerves. Yeah, we'll absolutely see that with the Ohio. Without a doubt. The Ohio, the, uh, the Ohio, the Georgia. My, my biggest problem with something like the Georgia is that I already have bad RNG. I already have bad RNG. Now I'm going to put in a boat that is based, based pretty much solely on RNG for those main guns, where there's very inconsistent, very, uh, you better hold your butt pucker if you're going to actually hit anything from any range, right? If it gets any worse, then I just can't play the boat because it just does not work. It just does not work for me. It's like I have such a hard time playing the boat like the Nice Now, and I have such a bad, sour taste on my mouth because of the Nice Now that when I see six guns, when I see six guns on three turrets, I just, I just immediately, 
I immediately go to the negativity on this on this boat. And regardless of how good I play it, the boat just doesn't perform for me. And I guess some people are going to be like that. Like uh, I performed in the last now for this train, for the train sprint. Say that again. I performed for the with the NAS now this last rank sprint. Yeah. So a lot of people did not. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. whereas you don't perform in the NAS now, I might, and I kind of get that. Well, but it's not like that. Let for me let me let, me let me redirect this. Let me redirect this. It's not that I'm playing it bad. I'm playing it the way I should be playing it, but the boat is not performing the way that, that it's supposed to. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Like so I'm making a broadside shot from four kilometers, and the and the boat just goes and sprays all over the fucking place every goddamn shot. So how am I supposed to continue on and playing that boat the way it's supposed to be played if I can't put people down? If I cannot punish these people? This is the, this is the problem that I'm having with the Georgia. I'm putting myself in the right positions, but the guns just aren't there. The guns just are not consistent enough for me to continue doing what I'm doing. So I have to adjust, and I have to adjust here. Right. I have so, to adjust like there. Like me and the Georgia the other day, where uh, you were telling me that, and I was like, you know what? I, I feel like they're a little bit more accurate than what I was being told. And then I played it today. Dude, a completely different story. No, yeah. it was dog shit. Well, I find it I find it funny because the Georgia, everybody knows, is the Tier 9 battleship with the big 457s. It's got six guns on two uh, on three turrets, and it's got a very powerful secondary battery. Very powerful mm-hmm. secondary battery. So the majority of the people are going to put on the secondary battery, and they're going to do that mod. Well, I took that off and went 9.9 kilometer secondaries and took the dispersion mod, uh, the plotting room that the Americans get, and my dispersion was worse with, it, with that than it was without it. Because I think plotting room is still broken. Well, it's been broken since, like, the Missouri. Like, the Missouri, they even admitted that it was broken. Why have they not fixed it? Or if, if this is actually if this is an actually broken thing, why are people... Because stupid. <laughs> I, I can't, I just, I cannot, I can't, I can't get behind that boat. I'm, I'm sorry, I know a lot of people like it, and I know the, the next thing, somebody, some dipshit's going to say, well, you need to learn how to play it. That's not the answer. <laughs> That's not the right fucking answer. That's not the right question to say. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I, I think that there's something wrong with that boat, or maybe there's something wrong with my RNG. Jesus, I don't know. Something on my account that says, "Okay, well, this guy's bitched a little bit too much." But then I look at fucking Ojisms, and he's playing these fucking same boat, and he's doing fucking monster damage. I'm like, where have I gone wrong? Now there is boats out there that I have tried to learn well, how to play. I've got 300. So, no, no, I don't on, mean to stop you there, but no, 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 hang on, just a second. Let me finish this, and 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 then I'll and then I'll I'll be quiet for a second. The Bliskavika, all right. This is one boat that I have busted my ass to try to learn, and I just cannot get it to fucking work for me. I've watched the Mijesh play it. I've played it exactly like Mijesh would play it. I played it. I played it at gunboat. I played it aggressive. I played it passive. I played it as torpedo boat. I played it as kind of a hybrid style. I just cannot get this boat to be consistent for me. So I'm not a big fan of the Bliss. I think the Bliss is a fine boat, and I know it's a good boat because I've seen everything else that all these other people see, and yeah, some boats just Bliss. don't fucking work. They just don't work for me, and I'm finding I'm finding that the Nyes now, the Georgia, they just don't work for me. All right. What you so got? with the Georgia, I'm uh, taking my time on my shots. Like I'm waiting for the right shot, like the perfect shots. Yeah. That's maybe what I've been doing in Georgia. Let my thing. secondaries do what I need, like uh, for DDs and stupid shit. Well, maybe I'll shoot at a DD, but for the most part, I'm holding my shot for that perfect broadside. I don't care if it's front cruiser or whatever. Yeah. And I think that that RNG definitely plays into it because. If ship is center line or whatever RNG is percentage, right? Right. So that shit happens. I don't care what anybody says. I don't know if you guys have seen when you shoot at something that's broadside. Broadside. What happens to the RNG? It's pretty flat, right? It's pretty horizontal. Yeah, that's the American. That's the American now, dispersion. If there's a little bit. If there's a little bit of an angle, uh, shit. Look at that fucking Yamato. You can do the same thing in Yamato as something that's broadside. Yeah. If there's a little bit of a fucking angle. Wiry as shit. You're gonna yeah. fucking either maybe black or maybe do, maybe you splash. Yeah. Do, do you guys do you guys you, you've been playing this game for a long fucking time, man? You remember when the uh the stopwatch bounced on your fucking on your on your draw? 
You remember that? Yeah. The little stopwatch that would bounce, and that would be the perfect timing. Is that is that mechanic? I understand they took out that mechanic, right, because it gave people advantage because they didn't know how to fucking read the goddamn bounce and, bounce and stopwatch. But is that mechanic, though, you would have better dispersion if you had a better shot. Does that mechanic still play into this action? Because I know if you shot, when that thing bounced, that was the perfect time for you to shoot, you would have some pretty good dispersion. Do you yeah, think that I, that mechanic I'm still pretty sure there? it's still there. It's just not seen because if you if you have proper timing, it still ends up perfect. You end up with like some of those beautiful dispersion ever. Yeah. I can't get it right 100 percent of the time, no. but I can get it right about 35. I guess 35 to 40. And I have the most beautiful dispersion I've ever seen, and then it's it's a full black. Yeah, I had that. I had that on a, in a Missouri against a, a Yoshino the other day, and just 54,000 damage. Boom, done four citadels he's dead and i was like yo how can you how can these people say that this missouri is inaccurate look i just put literally from 12 kilometers put four citadels into this guy and killed him and it's kind of and it's like but on the other hand how can i say that george is bad because i'm getting shit on by it and i'm not being able i'm not being able to reproduce that shit does that make sense i think i think uh what, what's fucked up is the rng gets better the better your aim is and i think that's what's fucked up because at least that's what I've noticed. I don't know. People are probably going to prove me wrong, but that's what I've noticed. Mm. Uh, if you're in a, a good situation, even for an angle like uh, Yamato that's kind of like turned out show, showing that cheek, right? And I'm an Yamato, and I aim just right, I'm getting three Citadel. Yeah. You're, you're gonna and I can continuously through. do that. Yeah, we've done that. You, you can do that with the Alaska on the on the Musashi, on the Yamato. As, as long as you're hitting that, as long as you're hitting that spot, you, you can. So I think your aim has a lot to do with uh, that RNG as well, because <laughs> uh, I'm not like a lot of like you a lot aim of like a centimeter players. off or whatever. Yeah, and, and your everywhere. shells go crazy. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Now. Uh, I was listening to uh, General Dort the other day, and he was complaining about his shots. He's like, man, I need to quit snapshotting. I think I do that a lot. I just snapshot it. You just aim, boom, pull the trigger where you think it's going to be and instead yeah, of setting up the shots. Shot as much. you got to so let think, your guns uh, rest. I think that uh, today when I go in, I'm going to play the Georgian. I'm going to bitch about it the whole time, but I'm going to be a little bit more patient with my shots and, and, and see if it gets better because uh, I'm very frustrated with this boat, and this is a boat that I was very against in the in – the, uh, very against in all the feedbacks and i just really didn't want this boat in my port and i tried to sell it after you know during the testing phase i played my five games in it and just put all my shitty feedback on it and then i tried to sell it but it wouldn't let me sell it it wouldn't let it wouldn't let me sell it because I'm, I'm just not a fan of it but uh either way you don't like georgia at all huh? no i just it just it's just <laughs> i don't like the boats that don't take skill to play that boat is based around secondaries and secondaries is a very low brow skill based gameplay it is it is very low brow um and just like think, just like the uk battleships it's very low brow it's very stupid it's very i think noob, any stupid can get friendly. in that ship and do 140 i think, I think it's i think it's noob friendly and the georgia the georgia just fits that i mean i think the massachusetts is terrible and that the main guns on it are so fucking inaccurate that only thing it has is a little bit of tank and a lot of fucking secondaries yeah and I'm not the only I'm not the only person that thinks that. I mean, there are a lot of people are like, well, you just don't know how to play it. And I'm like, well, fuck you, get out of here. Uh, anyway, yeah, guys, uh, think last chance here for questions, good. man. If you guys want to get the Q and A going on, man, we're hanging out with my man, Oh Jesus, bro. Oh Jesus, are you ready for the Q and A? Yeah, tell them to bring on the Q and A. I'm gonna go grab my sub and then take a piss. All right, stand by, man. So uh, go ahead, go do what you got to do. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab me some water. All right. Now, now, what's up, everybody? Guys, we're hanging out with my man, OGisms. You guys can hit him up on his Twitter, at OGisms, or over on his Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash OGisms. He's a good dude. You guys should, uh, the best player that I know that plays Battleships. He's number one in the world, baby. Number one Battleship player in the world. Woo. Now, if you guys are hanging out here on the channel, twitch.tv slash I thank you guys very much. I want you guys to know that we will hit 
1 million page views tonight. We need another 700 page views, which we should get uh, throughout the night. We also uh, hit our 20, our, our 12,000. So that's 12,000, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0 followers here on the channel. So thank you guys for that. We will do a 24-hour stream coming up in 10 days on the 19th. It'll be 24-hour stream number 52. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll do some giveaways. Plus, my birthday is next. Uh, my birthday is on the 23rd of July. And I also want to give you guys this. Next week, uh, Oni the Wicked will join us uh, on the podcast. So we'll talk. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about rank sprints, and we'll talk about the tier nine rank season coming up next week. So, so that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. You guys come back for that at uh, seven p.m. U.S. Central Time. Whew. Bring Sep on show. Who's Sep? Uh, you're Sep. Uh, what do you think of the IFHE changes to Tier 6 and 7? I'm not sure what they are, Baritone. Uh, link me some information, and I'll give you an opinion. I don't, uh, until, I've, until I've read the thing, I try, not to, I try not to give my opinion on things without getting all the information. Are we still taking questions? Yeah, that's right. Guys, right now is the uh, Q&A session here. If you guys, uh, if you guys want to uh, put, in, put in a comment at SirVenomIK or at OGisms there into the chat, and I will copy pasta them to my little... My little uh, my little word pad that I got going on here. We got we got a few questions. It'll be about ten minutes or so, fifteen minutes. Uh, on that. So if you guys have any questions about what we talked about, you guys uh, let me know. Uh, let's see. So here's what are we what are we doing here? We got one fifty twos cannot penetrate without IFHE. They can't penetrate seven through tens. Uh, the six and sevens will penetrate battleships. Cannot penetrate without IFHE. The cruisers, uh, I I don't know, man. Two two hundred threes penetrate everything. One fifty twos can't pin without IFHE. It pins. I don't know. What am I looking at? Is this is this proposed changes or is this the way it is now? Tier six and seven will need IFHE to pin higher tiers, but the fire chance is reduced. They need to. That's proposed changes. I think uh, my personal opinion about IFHE. I think uh, I think IFHE does too much fire chance uh, because you, in this game's reality, the more you pin, the more chance you have to set fires, and. You have to choose. I've, I've had to choose on battleships whether I'm going to shoot HE or AP. They need to choose. They want to set fires or they don't want to set All right, fires. All motherfuckers, I'm back. You ready, ma'am? Overall, you excited? I think, overall, I think it'll be fine, Baritone. It'll, it, it's not going to change much. It's just less fires, which is good which is good for the battleship player. All right. Bad Nova says, I don't, uh, I don't like seeing progression ships in the uh, premium shop. This goes to... Uh, this week there was a uh, USS New Orleans uh, was on sale with a buff, with a buff that if you bought this ship, you would get a buff to the rest of your line on experience gain. So aren't they, aren't they dumb with that? I don't know. I think they were, but I, I I don't I don't like that at all. I mean, it, it seems it feels like whole NTC level, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, if they if they they're gonna probably do this, yeah, I, I kind of should have bought it now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. I probably should have bought this thing just so when I do reset, I'm still gonna have that buff, you know, on those cruisers. I don't like it, I don't and I think that I haven't I seen think much that, on it, so I wish I did. I think I think that uh, I I think that this particular this particular instance, I think it's a bad thing. I want people to play through these things they're already giving away three quarters of the fucking line anyway when they pull out a new one with they're giving away tier eights they need to stop giving away tier eights mm -hmm. they need to give away tier two threes and fours and leave it at that or tier uh, you know give up to tier six fine but leave seven and eight for people to actually go and play through so they can learn the feel of these boats learn how these things are supposed to be played because in my in my experience tier seven and eight are the are the key to the lines you start playing at seven that's going to pretty much feed the rest of the line in that particular play style what do you think no i agree with that um i mean i would like to see up to tier six i guess i think i think giving but, away three quarters of the line is bad for the game because then people people will free xp to 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 tier 10 and then they'll bitch and moan that they have nothing to do 
Yeah, I mean, up to tier six, I think is good. That's fine. All right. Uh, OJ gets a buff to his aim with a six pack, so more buffs his ships uh, would be OP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the King says, uh, containers should be the same, not premium and not a regular one. I don't mind the premium containers. I did, there's not much difference between the two of them. I think better chances to get something or if like these fuel tokens that are out there, uh, for the Benham, you get 15 per premium box that you get. So whatever, if it makes it easier for people to grind out that Benham, then whatever. Right. I, I think that's fine. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Uh, guess who farted? This guy says, uh, Captain Tree and skills need to be reworked. I definitely agree, especially fire prevention. I think fire prevention needs to go from 10% to like 40%, but I'll settle for 25. Uh, I would like 100%, but whatever. <laughs> uh, so they want to. I'm just tired of being set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if they said if you go to tier 10, you unlock the rank ship that they could only level up to be used in ranked? If they had a ranked only ship. I don't know about Say that. Again? I, uh, hang on. Uh, the guy said, what if they said after you get to tier 10, you can unlock a ranked ship that can only played in ranked. So you would have, you would have a technically a tier 11 ship or, or tier eight ship that you could only play in ranked season. I think I think it's a, that idea I, has merit, but I think that it, the gameplay would get super stale because you would have to do several yeah. of each. You know, you would have to do several of each ship or several of each line to uh, to make that to make that viable. Well, but it, we've it already had merit. people maxing out several times over, right? Yeah. So maybe it wouldn't get stale. Well, it's still gonna get stale. Everything's stale. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you do it enough times, what? I mean. Even even rank season rank season right now is just a, it's just an escape from the shitstorm that is uh, randoms. So, so. Yeah, maybe it's I not. Mean, so, I mean, it's terrible. It has idea. it has Something. merit, but uh, I'd like I'd like to Definitely see better than NTC. Yeah, no, I mean, that, there's not much that's not better. Uh, <laughs> why not steal for the people that don't have a chance to play clan battles? No one would object to paying uh, paying to name ships. Then we have an idea. It's so simple, it's shocking. That's in the game already. So what if they said after you go to tier ten, unlock a rank ship that not only you could be level up. Well, that's the same. That was the same, same, pretty much the same comment there. But uh, no. as as for as for steel, there's I'm gonna I'm I'm a staunch believer, and you have to work for what you get. And if you can't get into the clan battles or can't get into the ranked, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. You've got to do you. There has to be some kind of separation between rewards for people that play ranked and rewards that people don't. And if you're not going to play ranked, you can't complain that you don't have those boats. And I think that's that's that was the biggest problem and the reason why we have steel to begin with is because people complain because they a they weren't good enough or b they didn't have time. They didn't have time or they didn't want to take the time to grind through it. Yeah, I mean I don't want to hate on people that want to play solo. That uh, maybe they don't, they can't find a clan that they can get it. That's fair. That's fair. There's clans all over the place. There's clans in the forums. I mean, I it's 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 a real. I don't think that you can be both ways about this, though. I don't think I think that you you either are going to accept the the people that aren't putting out the work that you are, or you're not. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I just wish like solo players could actually earn steel. Maybe not at the rate clan battles do, but. Maybe they can earn some steel too, you know. I'm I'm trying to decide what a better implementation of steel other than just buying buying this, uh, buying buying this thing, you know, buying the steel monsters campaign to get steel or doing the snowflakes to give these people steel that refuse to go play mm -hmm. the game modes that it's designed for. I, I honestly, I didn't think it was fair to the people that actually did it. Like, the, I didn't think it was fair to me, Jess. I thought, I'm sure me, Jess, don't give a shit. But uh, I didn't think it was fair, yeah, but they're giving, fair to you. They're it wasn't giving, fair to me. They're giving ships uh, that are that are designated for that 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 premium yeah. resource. Yeah, it's like uh, the whole the whole thing that uh, the whole thing about the yeah. I'm really I'm dude. It hurt my fucking soul, dude. I'm really butt hurt about this when I when I when I went through and I grinded about my busted my ass to get five rank seasons done so I could earn the black and say, hey, look, man, I earned my motherfucking black for them to just give it away to people. Or, 
make it an option for people now. It made it made my achievement fucking useless. It fucking tore my heart out, bro. I was like, holy shit, yes, I finally did it. This is my black season. Yes, hallelujah. And then they're like, okay, now everybody can fucking have it. I was like, what the fuck did I just bust my ass for? What the fuck did I just bust my ass for to do this thing if 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 now it means absolutely nothing? That's my that's my thoughts on it. Uh, nope, no steal for clan battles. We just talked about that. No one would object to paying to name. Uh, we've already talked about that. Uh, what if they said we already talked about that too? Uh, what about giving early access to work in progress ships for grinding out? I I don't want early access to these ships to and and hold it. I get early access for testing purposes, but I want to grind these ships. Mm -hmm. I want content. I want to play this game. For somebody somebody like me. Uh, somebody like me uh, who has the time to play, I'm I'm desperate for content. I want to play, so I don't have a problem with the uh, early access. I, I don't I don't think I don't think early access uh, is a thing or should be a thing. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Oh, let's see. We already talked about that. NTC uh, Bad Nova says NTC. Why not regrind ship lines to earn steel? Uh, I mean, if you want to regrind ship lines, fine, but they're going to reward it something other than steel because steel is designated for these these particular areas, and they need to keep them fucking separate. I, I don't know how, how else I can say that. And then, and then on the, on the other hand, OJ, like if these people want to grind it out and they want to get the Ohio, then hey, let them go get the Ohio. I still I still think that if they do this, they don't need to be selling the Ohio or the Colbert anywhere else. Right, yeah, no, it shouldn't be out there for a cash price. Grind it out or don't. Or pay uh, pay for it. Literally, pay for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, geez, I'm regarding CV's DPS uh, still broken. I'd agree for the Tier 10 and the Tier 4, but I think 6 and 8 are both underwhelming. Comments? Uh, so 6 and 8 are broken only because, uh, I mean, not broken because... They get up here so often, right? That uh, they, they're just being power creeped on, well, um, and the... that's where the misnomer comes from. Uh, the the tier ten carriers are still destroying shit. Well, here's the here's the here's the thoughts on the tier eight and six is because you don't have five sevens and nines, there's nothing else to pull from, so they have to pull those tier sixes and eights. So you're down tiered quite a bit. Mm -hmm. You're down tiered quite a bit. So if they bring back the five mm -hmm. sevens and nines, it kind of alleviates some of that, and it fixes it fixes that problem there. So if and when they bring them back, uh, then that that should fix a lot of that issue. Yeah. <clears throat> my thoughts yeah. on uh, let's see, Willie Shan says my thoughts on the NTC is keep it as cosmetic as possible. If it's going to be at all functional, keep it economic. But if they if they insist on giving battle performance enhancing effects, make it small stuff like two percent camel dispersion rating effectiveness or something like that. I think any buffs is too much. Any buff, I don't care if it's one percent, is too much because it's a perceived uh, it's a perceived advantage, and I don't think I don't think that uh, that it has any place to giving buffs just because I can play longer than you can. Hmm. I agree with that. Yep. Uh, Zarth says I'm down with subs if it's a separate game mode. I agree with that. What do you think? I'm stuffing my face. Oh too. yeah. Yep. I know. I'm just stuffing my face, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fun game would be. But no. Yeah. No. No. That's on point with what we were talking about earlier. Oh, yeah. I think. I think. I have. I have a game mode here for you for subs. You have a subs, and this this leads into this. I'm gonna read this comment and then give you my idea. Uh, Taylor three thousand and six says, "Fun game would be for a sub hunting cargo ships that are being escorted by warships. You could turn it around and play as a protector of the car ship. Cargo ships play as the sub hunter. I think that if they do this, it has to be a very short, fi uh, maybe five minute timed game. And if and there's containers all over the fucking deal. And if you kill these containers, then you can get credits, flags, fucking uh, doubloons, whatever, premium time that you can actually go out there and like a little fucking mini game in these fucking submarines. And that's how way the fucking reward." And I think people will fucking play it. Would you only get like three three runs a day or some shit like that that you can do on it? Yeah, I, I would I would uh, sign off on that just to try it. Yeah. Uh, Lost Light seeing uh, seeing a better or worse RNG. Uh, you think you should have is a confrontational bias. It's not confrontation. It's confirmation bias. Um, 
over the course of many games as it all balances out with the accuracy that ship should be. It's just bad RNG as remembered more than good RNG is. Oh, you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. This is this is why I brought it to this is why I brought it up here and saying is there any way that I can counteract some of that uh, some of that ability uh, with way that I'm playing. Do I not, am I not shooting at the right targets? Am I shooting at the wrong angles? Is there what other factors are other than a hey, venom? You just your RNG just sucks because there's so much shit that you can just throw out there. Your RNG sucks, dick venom. So you're just gonna get screwed over. I hate being screwed over when there's nothing that I can do about it. So if it's something that I can do to change that RNG, then fine. But if but a lot of it, I there's there's a lot of stuff that just is just out of your control. Dropping, uh, dropping, you know, CVs dropping on on destroyers. It's pretty much out of your control. There's really not much that you can do to that with just dodge. All right, Virtual Senpai says, how can you say a ship is pay to win when its direct line counterpart has the same shell alpha and the most mirrored stats? I disagree with that sentiment. Uh, I don't think that any. I don't think that this game is pay to win. I don't care what premium ship you have. It's not pay to win. If you're still an idiot and you play your boat like an idiot, you're gonna get you're gonna get wrecked. And so I don't. I think it's all based in the hands of perceived pay to win because, like I said, with the Stalingrad, all these fucking badass players were playing it and they know how to fucking put it together and know how to play their boat. So it seemed OP, but in reality, it's really not. Or well, they paid for the containers to get uh, to get that steel early. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Willie Shen uh, says, "I am playing these boats like the Georgia correctly. I shoot the broadside of a ship at four kilometers, and it sprays all over the place. And situations like that, where there's nothing anybody could tell me uh, that would convince me that the potato armor is not an actual thing that exists within the world of warships. RNG, quote unquote, RNG quality Russian number generator. <laughs> that's a that's a comment on on another comment on RNG that's out of his hands." Uh, Sandor says, what I have noticed is it seems like the magic spot where you get great dispersion and good pin. There is a magic spot, and that is right on your nipples, right? The nipple the nipple spot? Right on the nipples. Right man. on the nipples. All right, Always let's go. On the uh, that's all the Q&A that we had there. We're going to go and check in the chat here. It says, uh, me, Jaysh, uh, number one. Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, give people in clan battles the ability to have an exclusion period in the ships. But if someone is saving their coal, since you can only earn so much, and they choose to buy a Stalingrad instead of the JB, who gives a shit? It's let the clan battles rank battle players still get rewarded with all the ships, but lets the casual players have a chance to get these ships as well. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because they're earning coal anyway, and there's nothing you can do about it. If they want to take away the steel and take away this other shit, it devalues my reward system a little bit, a little bit more. But then everybody can shut the fuck up and quit bitching about, oh, well, this guy has this fucking boat and I don't have time to fucking play this. Well, I'm sorry if you don't have time to play it. I don't want to hear you bitching, you know. That's, that's your life, man. I'm sorry. That's harsh. That's tough love. And I love each and every one of those guys. But if they just take away the steel, take away this moly bendium or whatever the fuck it's called, and just and just pay, make everything for, keel, uh, for coal and just fucking hike the prices way up there to a million coal for everything, I'm all for it, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. It's it's a, it's an interesting concept, man. It's an interesting uh difference between the players that have played for a long time and and new players coming in. All the new players, they want all this bullshit and they want all this new stuff. And there's a big contingent about, you know, participation fucking medals and shit and how much I hate them. I hate participation medals. But there's a, there's several community or well there's one one community can, one community contributor in general that is the poster child for uh for uh participation medals and I think I think it just brings down the quality of the quality of the rewards, quality of the game when you're not actually putting forth effort and you're getting all the rewards that somebody who is. Me you're, just looking, says, you're looking at uh more of playtime rather than no, it's it's it's, it's it's how how do you play, all right? It's how do you play versus somebody somebody who only plays co op? Should should the only co op guys get rewarded the same as you? They should no. be rewarded based on the hardness of co op. Now I don't on care what anybody mode. says. The uh, bots at tier nine and ten are not but hard, and they're not too accurate. It's about again. It comes down to. So just want to try. Yeah, it comes down to. 
the amount of time you can put in the game. So you can put a lot of time in the game, but I'm only I'm limited I'm on limited time. Uh, somebody that maybe uh, is a uh, father, mother, whatever, right? Yeah. Has an hour of time, right? Because they get a full time job, right? Then family duties, maybe hour of gaming time, right? Mm-hmm. So fuck them just because they can't put as much time as us in the game. Well, it's not fuck them. They get the re- they have to get rewarded because they can only play an hour. I can play twenty four hours, and I should be rewarded for my twenty four hours. It should be on either the same level or the same scale. You get you only play an hour, then you only get this much reward. I play twenty four hours. Don't bitch and moan because I'm playing more. You should be. Getting I would agree with that if it was just grinding from one tier one to tier ten, grinding anything other than that. I'd have to say fuck that. What do you mean? Why? Well, I mean, like, all right, say that. Say that again. Grinding one to ten, fine. I get rewarded. I get rewarded more right. than somebody else. So you get rewarded to get in a tier ten faster, right? right? But when you put in all these other premium consumables or uh, premium Boats. currency, sorry, right? Um, now it's well, fuck them. They can't put enough time in, so maybe they should just make more time for me. Well, it's not even about making more time for me. They put something out there. I'm going to take advantage of it because I can, and somebody else that can't take advantage of it. Do you think that – I mean, this goes back into the Benham. This goes. This ties right into the Savage Battles here. Are they able – do you think that it's right that they should be able to buy the fucking uh, premium boxes to get this Benham? I mean, I busted my ass. I've already got the 800 tokens. I mean, I already got the Benham. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is I got the 800 tokens with 15 fucking boxes. And those 15 boxes, do you think that they should be able to buy through that shit? And get rewarded? No, absolutely get, not. Get rewarded but, through uh, that paywall as think, opposed to getting rewarded through I don't think it should be so limited in time that uh, somebody that could play one hour a day might not be able to get it because they can't put as much time in it as, as you can when well, you play twelve hours. Well, that, that goes that goes back to the that goes. That's back what I mean. The, they should if, if you rewarded. if you play twelve hours a day uh-huh. and you're able to do that, great. I'm happy for you. Okay, but we we got to stop with this fucking seasonal ass bullshit. All right, uh-huh. and give these players that do only have an hour of play a day a little bit fucking more. I think I think. Uh, I could agree with that, but the only sad thing about that is is that after about a week or so, I don't really want to play these Savage Battles anymore. I don't want to play... I like it, and I think the Savage Battles are, like I said, the best thing. The Rumble's the, Rumble's the best. Uh, if you leave it for too long, it becomes a non-issue, and nobody fucking plays it. And it just kind of kind of gets itself into obscurity. That's why I like the way the events are run. You do them for a month here, a patch here, uh, a couple of weeks there, and then and then you move on to the next the next event, and then the next event, and then they rehash this event, or you know they bring that event back, and then they can reward the same. Uh, That's because you're just so used to them just regurgitating a new event and maybe. a new style. Maybe that's that's all that is. I think uh, I, I think I could agree that if they extend and, and, it, and because pin... this event is is challenged as a grind, a quick grind, you got to get this done right now. You got to get it done because you're limited on time. But if you weren't limited on time, you'd probably go revisit it every now and then, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't be trying to grind it out. You wouldn't try to be banging that bitch out like it's fucking ranked. You're right. You're, no, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. If you had time, if you had time to grind this thing out. Like a legit amount of time, and not just not just say a month. I mean, that's a a month is a, a month is a pretty long time in the gaming world, of of to grind something out. But if you can't do it in a month, uh, how long how long do they last? How long is a good enough time for everybody to have an opportunity to put this out based on their situation? How do you extend it? Where do you where do as you draw the As long as it takes. Line? I mean, do we? Do we look down on our military members that uh, the most of them are military members that play this game or former military or whatever? Do we look down on them if they get deployed and they can't fucking do it? So now they're fucked on that ship once they pay for it? I heard something I heard something the other day that um, events like this. Well, I guess if, they do have deployment money so they could come back and pay right, $240. Right, well, no big deal. That's fine. I think, I think that maybe they should have the same rotation of events coming back with the previous rewards available. Right, 
And whatever you didn't spend or whatever you don't have, you can hold on to until that event comes back. And then you can pick up right where you fucking left off and earn more. Uh, same thing with clan battles. So just the way that the steal, the, the, way, that, the way that the steal happens, uh, you save up a steal for three or four seasons. And then you go back and you buy whatever ship you want to buy, right? Same thing with the same thing with the rest of this. If you're going to put these things in a rotation, the last year's Halloween's uh, last year's Halloween rewards, the people that weren't able to get into those Halloween rewards, next time it comes around, those rewards should be available for the same for the same shit. They should be able to pick up on their quest where they left yeah, off when it went away. Halloween that, rewards are completely different from these rewards no, no, here. No, 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 wait, this say, shouldn't it's, be it's, seasonal. It's, this should just be a thing. Well, I mean, like they no, want to implement no, wait, it and give you an additional currency and get you an additional ship. Different thing. I think you missed the point. The point was is that letting them stay exactly in the spot where they were when that event goes down, when it comes back up, they can pick right back where they left off. So, so even if they even if they let it go for a month and they're not able to do it for a month in that month period, the next time that it comes around, they're able to pick up right where they left off. Say they sit at seven hundred and ninety nine fucking fuel tokens, they're missing one token for the Benham. The next time the event comes around, they start at seven hundred and ninety nine. Then they can play to get that first that first challenge done. Get their field token get the ben ham and so on and so on so that way that way they're not really losing anything they're just lost time that they're not going to be able to uh, they're not going to be able to grab this right now they're going to have to wait until until the same the thing comes back around it's either that or you put it out there for a fucking year and people still bitched about them not being able to get the missouri after a fucking year that no, the missouri they... was in the free xp so no. at what point at what that's, point that's do you at what all. point do you limit what is the what is the max? I mean, you gotta make a rotation, you but allow. it shouldn't be a fucking blitz rotation like it is ranked. Agreed. These events shouldn't be ranked. Agreed. You want to do a, a a fucking Halloween event? Well, make it month before and month after. Through that. Okay. So you go right because right? they don't do anything for Thanksgiving because they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about Christmas. Well, they do this. They do well, the except paywall, Christmas Santa containers because yeah. they want to sell the fuck out of those. And they do. You gotta make that money there. Yeah. So, so for the for the people, for the people that couldn't get seven hundred fifty thousand free XP over the course of a year, for whatever excuse or whatever reasons that they weren't able to do it, it was a year. OJ, well, what point? What what point do you limit the amount of time on these uh, on these events? Well, that was also at a time where free XP was pretty easy actually to difficult still. to come across. Well, yeah. Of course, you could have spent the balloons to fucking convert it. You could have uh, done like I did. That's what I did. We we put. Uh, I, I was remember, a hardcore I player. Tracking. I, I played tracking. a lot, and I still had to do that. Yeah, I remember tracking. Uh, I remember tracking through one twenty-four hour stream. We gained three hundred thousand free. Four thousand balloons, by the way. That was a lot. That's what it cost. It's a lot of balloons. Yeah. So. At what point, like, like that, that just goes back to the answer, and that's what we'll leave it. That's where we'll leave it here. At what point in time do you limit it so far in the future to where it becomes pointless? And even if they did not get it at that point in time, then at what point in time do you say, well, sorry, buddy, sorry about your loss. You're not going to be able to get this boat because you didn't put in the time. It's the same thing. Do actual seasonal. If this thing right here, right, so Savage Battles, if this was actual seasonal, do it actual seasonal like everybody else does. Four months. Maybe three, three right? Three, three, is, three is pretty much the cutoff per season. There you go. Yeah. At uh, how? Uh, so anyway, that's the question. You got twelve months out of the year. At what point in time does War Gaming say, "I'm sorry, this is the way we're doing it"? If you don't like it, then sorry. That's 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 the way we're doing it. If you don't, three fucking months, then yeah. all right, three months. <laughs> all right. So what about uh, what about say Tyrion Anthill has to work for fucking three months and he comes back and he's not able to fucking get it? So you're going to extend it another three months for for Tyrion? Are you gonna extend it? Are you gonna extend it another week because me Jesh went to went to Russia for a week and wasn't able to get the start of it? I mean, at some point in time, you have to say no, right? I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you're just missing the point of no, why I mean, they I keep understand. including all these different under, fucking currencies. I, I understand your point, I, but uh, but either way, either way, at some point in time, board gaming has to stand up and say no. You missed the opportunity on this one. Now move on to the next one. And I, I at think... some point they got to stand up and say they've been stupid. <laughs> well, that has yet to happen yet. So uh, we'll, we'll just hold our breath for that one. All right, boys. 
Uh, well, you got anything else? Uh, tell them about your show real quick. Tell them where they can find you, what your schedule is, so they can uh, they can get over to your channel. Always and never at the same time. Always and never at the same time. With a deep, hard look into the camera. He's piercing into your soul. Well, that now's the time to uh, tout on your show and tout on yourself here, buddy. If you want to tell them. Always and never at the same time. All right, boys. You guys can uh, hit up OGisms at <laughs> OGisms over on the Twitter, twitch.tv slash OJ, or OGisms, excuse me. Uh, if you guys are out there on the YouTube channel, please leave questions, comments, and concerns in the section below, and we'll get to those eventually. Uh, if you guys uh, if you guys have not done it yet, come over to twitch.tv slash SirVenomIK and at Sir underscore Venom underscore IK. I want you to know that we are currently 600 page views away from 1 million, and we will do giveaway uh, on the 19th, which is a 24-hour stream, number 52. 24 hour stream number 52 because I'm a fucking animal. We're also past 12,000 followers, which I think is dope as shit. And my birthday is on the 23rd of this month. So we'll do all we'll celebrating all of that on the 19th, 24 hour stream right here in the channel. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll do a bunch of giveaways. I think I got a boat to give away. I don't know. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. Hell yeah. Free stuff, man. Everybody likes free stuff, man. I love you guys. Yo, OJ, thanks for coming on, man. Yeah, no, thank you. Dick. Yeah, fuck you too, man. <laughs> Well, guys, I got one more that question to ask you. I got one more question, OJ. Did, you, did we go primal enough for you? I don't know. I, I don't know. know. We didn't go. We didn't go as primal as you wanted we to. We didn't go. As we didn't go primal. All right, guys. I love you, man. Thank y'all very much for watching episode twenty-seven of Cross Your Bow Podcast. Is now in the books. I remind you, next week only the Wicked's going to come on, and I have nobody for the twenty-third and nobody for the end of the month. So uh, we will 